Pardon me. Alright, stream is up and running. We good? Internet? Please? Please be nice. Anyway. Uh, so here we are. Welcome again. Welcome, folks. To more Final Fantasy XIV. This is my ninja, level 69. Honestly, almost level 70. Like, I'm 69 and a half here. Um, Red Mage is... Wow, actual... I, didn't even, wow. I didn't expect for you to get two fucking levels fucking... My Red Mage is actually... My ninja is closer to 70 than my mage is. And also, I got some oh, items man. while I was out killing stuff on my ninja. So, I just geared up my Red Mage. <laughs> With a bunch of 282s that I got from fucking, uh, what's the name of that place? Doma Castle. Nice. Honestly, I don't want to glamour this chess piece. I like the look of it. No. We're just leaving. Um... Not that one, you. Hey, how'd you like to fix all my shit? Because everything on my ninja is like half broken. Who? Who? I, I like, I literally, doesn't matter how many crafters I have, I cannot fix your shit. Doesn't matter. I have no problem buying stuff. Honestly, the only I mean, thing I left I can do for do a it. good chunk of XP is Alliance Raid. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Honest, you probably still gotta do fucking story stuff, so if you just gotta do your story stuff, you'll hit 70 long before you even need it. Yeah, you have a valid point. That is the wrong button. Um, Alright, so... What missions do I have active right now? I mean, if you want some quick XP, I, uh, I can invite you to a party. There's a fate up out here with XP buff in Azim Step. Uh, it's, I mean, it's got three minutes left on it. We got plenty of time to come. Fill it. What is uh Don't call it a comeback. What is it? Speak with Sin. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I found the Hildebrand quest line. Oh. Gen yeah, gentle dead man, Inspector Hildebrand. Yeah. Yeah. I think I had actually capped that out for Heaven Sword that's as well, a, and couldn't make progress on it. That's Realm Reborn. Yeah. I don't know that I have Stormblood. I'm actually able to continue that too. All right. No, Story, I mean, though. literally, I don't think you've got you're able to do the Stormblood one because you have to go through the entirety of the quest line because. I believe the one you're on is still in a, a Realm Reborn. Have you... You've done Battle on the Big Bridge, right? Yes. And the Little Bridge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, no, you should have the Hildebrand quest line done for Realm Reborn. Yes, I know. That's what I'm saying. Now that I have Stormblood, I have more I can do. Well, that's the thing. The first quest in Stormblood is Nashu Goes East. Alright, then no. I haven't finished it. Because I'm on Don't Call It A Comeback. I guess. I, fucking, I don't follow that quest line. They, they annoy the crap out of me. I love Hildebrand. He is the manliest man. The gentle manliest man. He is a Manderville man. The only way a Manderville man can. Uh, or everything is for Manderville man. Okay. Man. I've been spending way too much time on my ninja and actually forgot my ability setup for my uh, red mage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait a second. How do I? Oh yeah, that's right. And we got a comment from Boyish. Made a post to the Final Fantasy subreddit. Uploaded 13 save file. PC users. Oh, cool. Nice. What people he, get to he use it. uploaded a cheat file for people to use? No, not a cheat file. His, I've already done everything. You know. Cheat implies he, like, broke it. No, he was talking about how he put fucking hours into it. I mean, it is a cheat file, technically. Yeah, they're like, cheating by downloading it. Nothing. Yeah. Because generally, with a lot of trophies, 
all you have to do, or with a lot of achievements, especially on PC, all you have to do is jump into the game, and as soon as you walk into another area or something, the game will ping for what achievements you you need to acquire or what you have acquired, and then it'll just give them to you. Yeah, I remember that happened yeah. to me with uh, Token in two because I played the demo, got to the end of the demo, then carried my save file over into the main game, and they were, immediately were like, "Here's like five trophies." I was like, "Oh." But yeah, uh, if you want some extra experience, come to the Azim Step. If you go to Doro Leo, there's an XP XP bonus uh, bait right next to it right now. All right, last we left off, they had summoned the new Primal, and I am gonna have to kill it. Did I complete them all? No. Question, how do I unlock Scholar? Uh... Well... You would go to the Arcanist Guild and accept the quest, I believe. You may want Arcanist? To I thought guy. it was Conjurer. Oh, Scholar is Arcanist. Arcanist turns into both Scholar, or both Scholar and Summoner. Uh, you won't be able to get certain achievements with my file. I've already talked to Bakti to obtain them on said file. Most of the end game achievements require talking after you. Oh, well, I mean that 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 comes down to how the achievement is actually verified in terms of. It sounds to yeah. me like what sets the flag as true is triggering that conversation. Which, if you've yeah. already done that, they can't cheat off of. Whereas a lot of games, the flag just triggers based on in game. Based on a hidden stats base, or yeah, hidden stats. Hey, I forgot new gear. <laughs> oh man, I can get like, red mage I, gear. Except I forget. It's uh, not as good. That's what I already have. Oh, oh. Fuck. There was one game that required you to do like ten thousand, or it was a ridiculous amount of fights, to the point that you would have to like do. It was something you had to do like two hundred. Like these fights didn't weren't quick. They weren't. They were like. Ridiculous on most in most cases, especially at earlier levels. So it required so such a ridiculous number that I remember getting a cheat file for it that had already had like ten thousand fights, and I fought one fight and it triggered the achievement. All right, that's one way to do it. So it's like some flags are just wow. triggered by having I have new these quests in here. I'm gonna do these on my ninja and hit seventy later. All right, there's another mission for an ether current. Wait, did I, I just rank up the? Johnny, speaking of ether currents, um, can you assist me with getting the ether currents in this place? Because what I've, area? Uh, the fringes. Because I, I actually, can't. while I was playing, I actually picked up a bunch of them. So I'm only missing four. Okay, that's, I mean, that's fine. Uh, like I said, just give me a moment. I did not realize I was actually ranking up the Namazu today. No, that's so, fine. I'm in the middle of doing story. No rush. Well, what's cool is I'm about to be able to buy my fucking, uh, what is that thing called? Uh, oh God. The, the, the things that they carry people in, palanquins. I get my Namazu palanquin today. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Namazu are the fish people. Yeah, I get what I'm going to They're a crafting fucking thing, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. Then they can eat my ass. Like I said, dude, you save up, like, a couple hundred thousand gil, you can easily level a ca character with, for, like, you could probably level it completely to 60, and then that would allow you to do the Namazu quest line. Level it to 60 for about, I mean, depending on what class you do, like, you could probably do Alchemist to 60 for about... 
500k. That's really cheap, dude. I can do that with like four classes right now. Well, like I said, it depends on the, uh, the class. class. Like, culinarian, 500k is you told me is, is fucking expensive for no reason. Yeah. All right, now I can deal with very angry snake people. But I'm just gonna run right past. Fuck all y'all. Probably a very unwise thing. I don't know what's in here. Oh. Oh. Uh, I have a feeling I'm about to unlock a primal flight. Oh yeah. Nope. This is this is 100% a primal flight. Yep. I attuned to this crystal, and then they're like, "Hey, go fight this bitch." I am. You can't yeah, just do. Give me a moment. Like I said, I want to just finish this actual beat. I'm not gonna do the extra beast tribe quests I get after ranking them up. Until after we're out of that, I just want to at least. Finish All right, she looks itself. fucking cool. Not even. Gonna You're lie. fighting what, Lakshmi? I like how we are literally warping into the room in a stealthy position. Ow. She's fucking dead. Last I recall, she was struck down by a soldier. Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Yeah, Blood she's dead. Hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. Your face has no emotional range. You're perfect in twilight. So basically, the god brought her body back, but her soul is still gone. So she's just only the vessel lost. may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Yep. Exactly what I just said. I guess we're starting now this shit. Now you see her promises for what they are. Alize, have you gone mad? Yep. Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and... Oh, are you doing the solo part of it? Who is right now they're just shouting at her. Yeah, let me know. Uh, I'll go ahead and join you for it if you want. No, we come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This had ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them wow. with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. Yeah, no God's not really doing a whole lot there. Sweet can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. Damn. I would say laying down the truth. The hard truth. For every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! Nope. Poor, Poor phrasing. misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come bask in my radiance. I'm gonna have to kill them.
Also, Johnny was talking about her, so I imagine she is, in fact, a primal fight that will be in the very near future. Congrats, you just tackled her away from fire into another fire. Terrible dodge. Nope. Because I said so. Of course, they're fucked. And now probably mind control. Some variation. Misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. Well, mercy, that's a surprise coming from a god. Well then, this isn't going to end well. Yep. I mean, I can't even get mad at her. She, she saw they were going down a dark path and tried to stop. Never stop trying. Emanation now available. Of course, now my story objective is going to be to do that mission. We're going to wait for Johnny on that one. Wherever the hell he went. I'm going to go do that other mission. Like I said, just invite me. Oh, you're you're good? I thought you were in the middle of... But I think I'm... Jesus. <sighs> one of those you'd love to be able to talk, but... Screaming. <laughs> but, um... I'm in a cutscene now, but uh, give me a second, I should be out of it soon. And then I'll invite you and pass you lead or whatever, whenever I'm out of the uh, cutscene. Just let me know when you're out, I'll invite you though, there I'm already lead. Alright. And while I wait, I'm going to do this mission for an ether current. And I imagine that the two ether currents I'm missing story-wise, or there's the quest I have now for an ether current, and then the last one is going to be me finishing off the story in this area. I'm your, your big ass elephant. This has been the same in a lot of areas. As soon as I do the last story mission in that area, they're like we need to go over to this place now, and then you, and they're like, cool. Here's the last ether current. Now you can fly in this place with all the side quests you're gonna do. And there's a lot of them. Alright, let's fucking set some shit on fire. Now you can fly in this place! Now go to a different area. Yeah! I hated that! They're like, you can now fly! Get the fuck out though. Like, oh. Whatever you're trying to cast, stop it. We done? Aww. Something tells me she's trying to get some, uh, some of that human D. And, uh, he's not down for the snake veg. I don't know why not. Yeah, I actually watched the cutscenes for the uh, beast trap for the crafting beast traps because they're actually pretty good stories, or pretty good little side stories. Yeah, I'm enjoying the red mage quest line. I want to continue it when I hit 70. See what happens okay. to Arya.
Spoiler oh. alert, snake die or snake kills Dumbledore. Uh yeah, I'm wow, I'm at two seventy nine. I think your score is nice. Uh yeah. hello Anissa. Oh yeah, you really cannot keep your mic on, because she'll just randomly decide to scream at something. <laughs> but then again, you have what? Two dogs and two cats or some shit? Well, flying is dumb. Apparently, uh, you get a lot. All achievements on whatever the current expansion is. You have all your tunes the ability to fly. As opposed to buying it on each character at a certain level. Well, that just makes it easier to get it on other characters, because you can... And just fucking you don't have to worry that much you don't have to worry about unlocking flying on each individual character when they get to the level it's just like all right cool i'm a fucking brand new character i can fly it just saves time granted if you actually play the character and level up and do the dungeons you'll unlock what you need to be able to fly in that area so by then you'll have enough gold to be able to buy it so it just saves players time and gold I can't say it's a bad thing. Oh, I can buy weapons from you? What do you sell? You, I believe, sell the exact same shit the other village sells. Yup, that is the exact same katana. With the red blade? Yup. Invite me. Alright. Uh, social, friends, invite to party. Yeah, let me know when you're in an actual, like, you know, combat class. Ow. I don't know why people praise vanilla WoW, I fucking despise it. But then again, I like Hunter. And for those wondering what, why I hate it so much, um, basically what ended up happening was, is you have five bag slots for your character for inventory. So for instance, you start with a 16 slot bag, and then you can find other bags that are slightly bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger, or you can get into cloth crafting and make bags that are bigger. Um, but generally speaking, you know, you start off with... Oh, hello, Ether Current. Coolio. If that elephant keeps coming at me, I'm going to murder it. Alright. Um, but, generally speaking, you only have the, the bag they give you. And then, the max you can get is five or four more 16-slot bags. The problem is, uh, as a hunter, you're primarily... Well, not primarily. In vanilla, you are primarily a ranged class. You can equip a melee weapon, but you all of your abilities are for range. So it's not recommended that you ever get within melee range. All of your abilities are for ranged, so don't ever get close. Um, and and in fact, you can you can annihilate hunters in PvP because what ends up happening is is if the enemy is within eight meters of you, you'll change to your melee attacks. And if they're further than 8 meters from you, you'll switch to your ranged attack. The problem is, is when an enemy switches between that little circle around you, um, you switch weapons. When you switch weapons, it resets your auto attack timer. And the problem there becomes a case of you end up flickering between the weapons. So my buddy told me that as a mage, he was able to jump in and out of that circle. And the hunter was barely able to get off a single shot because he was jumping in and out of melee and, and, and fucking range damage. And then, if the enemy is within melee distance, you can't use any of your ranged abilities, and you have, like, no melee abilities whatsoever. So, you're fucked. Um, that's one problem. As I was saying before about the bag space, um, Hunter is a ranged class, and the way it used to work is, if you had a bow or a gun, which are your two options when it comes to ranged weaponry are just bow and gun um you had to carry an ammo pouch so a one of your bag slots is automatically gone because you need ammo for your gun you can't do a melee only hunter you, you'll just know um so 
you only have four bag slots, and then the fifth is an ammo bag. You have to manually purchase your ammo and hold on to it. So you, you would be using up some of your money to buy bullets to use it. The problem there was, let's say you're level 20-something, you're in a dungeon, and a really good bow drops. And you're like, oh man, my DPS will jump up by a bunch of points if I equip this. Equip the bow. But you have no arrows in your fucking ammo bag. You can't use it. You have to get out of the dungeon, buy arrows, put them in one of your, put them in your ammo bag, and then you can use that bow. So that was an annoying fucking tactic. So you had to do that. You, you had to maintain your ammo supply. You had to make sure you had the right ammo for the right weapon. You had to make sure you were at the right distance or you were useless. Uh, didn't you also need to hold a bunch of food to keep your pets tamed? Aren't yes, you, are you talking about WoW type things? Yes. Um, that is another thing that you had to do. Your pet has a hunger meter, and you had to feed your pet whatever its diet was. So let's say you have um, a raptor. Carnivorous. Okay, cool. I'm guessing you can't now see. let's say you want to switch to a turtle for a tankier pet. That, however, only eats seafood. So I hope you fucking keep up on fishing because you're going to need to feed it fish. And so you had to carry specific types of food with you Depending upon the pet, you needed the dietary needs of that pet to be met. Otherwise, the way it works was, if the pet was well-fed, they had 25% bonus damage. If they were normal, they were normal damage. And if they were hungry, it was minus 25% damage. And if I'm not mistaken, if they were left hungry too long, they would just leave. So you could just lose your pet. So, that's what I'm saying. One thing I really enjoyed was, what was, um, Cataclysm was the expansion before the pandas, if I recall. Yes, yes it was, because I remember the underwater area, and I always went there to level up to max. I always enjoyed it. Anyway, Cataclysm was when I was playing primarily, and I really loved the Hunter. So, I don't know why people are freaking out about Vanilla WoW being the greatest thing. It's not. It's really not. Anyway. Johnny, you back? Like I said, I was just finishing up that Namazu thing, and I keep getting into cutscenes. Um, we're going to fight Lakshmi? Emanation. Yeah. And are you a combat class? Give me a second to figure out what I want to do. I think the reason people prefer vanilla WoW is because back then loot was hard to get. Epic item was epic. Nowadays, uh, getting, yeah. Well, I mean, that was the problem is that it was a case of what it comes down to is, it, is you need to come up with a good balance of risk and reward or work and reward. The problem with that is... The way, you're, the way you're describing it sounds to me like basically what it came down to was is the boss has a loot pool drop. Let's say the boss can drop one of five items. Mm -hmm. Or one item for each class and then also has a chance of dropping a purple item instead for a given class. Let's say that, right? Here so... Flashlight. Huh? Okay. Give me a second. Anyway. Uh, so if the boss can drop one item for any given class, and a chance that the item dropped is instead a purple, a lot of what they did was, it was like one of those, there were, I think there's eight classes in the game, which roughly translates to something like a 12%. The loot pool was so fucking ridiculous that it was hard as fuck to get anything you actually needed. Well, that's what I was getting into. Was is, uh, they boofed, it, it, they, if I'm not mistaken... They buffed the drop rate of getting the purple items over the blues, because it's a case of, let's say you go through the dungeon, you fight the boss, you beat the boss, and then it drops a blue staff, and you're like, well, fuck, I'm a hunter, that's useless to me. But, the only way to, like, you really want this bow, for whatever reason, when it came down to people farming for this gear that they wanted to get, you, you would do all this work to kill the boss for him to drop one item. So what they ended up doing was they made it so they can drop two items, thus doubling your chances. 
And that's honestly, that was the big change they did, was they just made it so most bosses drop two items instead of one. Another thing they did in World of Warcraft that I really enjoy is when the game first came out. This is a hilarious thing about psychology, by the way. When the game first came out, they had normal XP rates and well-rested XP rates. And the way they used the numbers was, when you were not rested, you gained 75% of your XP. When you were well-rested, you gained 100%. People complained that, by that description, why am I losing XP? So because enough people complained, the developers in the game specifically said that, like, they just changed around the variables. They didn't, or no, they didn't change the variable, sorry, they changed the wording of it. So that it specifically is titled as, your normal XP is 100 and your well-rested is 125. The numbers numerically have not changed at all. Specifically how it's represented to you, is it? That's fucking hilarious. Which is funny because... By the way, Johnny, are you a combat class yet? Like, what the fuck? Yes. Thank you. Um... The other thing that's funny, um... I don't know if any of anyone's heard about this. This happened, I forget when, I think 2014? I don't remember what year. Don't quote me on the year. But it was Kmart. And Kmart got a new CEO, and they said that they were going to start doing what they called an honesty policy. And basically, when you go into the store and it says like 22% off, and then it's marked down from 35 to whatever, and you're like, oh, cool, I'm saving money, I'm going to buy this. They're lying to you. The marked down price is the initial price that they actually want to sell it for. But by making you think you're saving when you purchase it, it, it'll make you more likely to purchase it because you think you're saving on it and that savings may end. When in fact, it's never going to happen. So Kmart was like, alright, we're going to stop lying to our customers. We're going to get rid of all of our sales. We're going to sell it for what it's actually supposed to be. And we're going to stop lying. And then their sales and stock prices plummeted. And then a new CEO came in and goes, we're going to go back to sales. And then their, their shit leveled back out. But it's just funny because... Anytime you go into a Walmart or Kmart or literally any fucking store, and they're like, oh, this is on sale for 25% off. Chances are, it that's its actual Coupons price. Coupons are legit, though. Coupon? Yes, coupons help with that. But the other problem there is it, it, it's a case of... What it usually comes down to is this. Um, when an item is sold in a store for a marked price, that is however much it costs the company... To acquire that item, whether it be through production and shipping and handling and all that stuff. All of that is taken into account on the sale of the item. And then a little bit of profit on top of that so they can get paid for selling you this item. However, coupons typically nullify any amount of profit the company would make on said item. In return for a loyalty reward. Which is why they get sometimes, you know... It, depending on what store you're a part of or you're a group of, you'll get coupon booklets, which are their way of saying, you know, like, thank you for shopping here. Here's a book of coupons that'll help you save money. And then now there's just websites that have coupons. That too. Which is actually kind of funny that you can get apps and shit like, in, in your browsers to auto-input coupon codes to, to do exactly that, even if you're new to the store. The, and what the re really the funny thing is though, is that there's people that go into what like WalMarts and shit, and Walmart has to pay them. Yeah, if you have enough coupons, you can do that. It takes a lot but of. That is ridiculous. Clipping though. Uh, boyish is. I'm hoping Borderlands Three loot system is closer to ones. If it's remote. All right, now boyish. What do you mean by that? Like, what is your big deal with Borderlands new. 2 over Borderlands I, 1? Borderlands 1 to 2 changed. Borderlands 2 to 3 should change. Like, it you depends. don't always need the old stuff. It yeah, depends on how. Because, like, for yeah, instance, does, we played through does. Borderlands um, 1, and it's like, okay, I got a TDR weapon that doesn't explode every time I reload. Now, I will admit that's a good thing to have. Just because sometimes you can get a weapon that's good damage but doesn't explode when reloaded. When in Borderlands 2, by default, any TED weapon is a grenade well, when it reloaded. See, that's the thing. None like, of the TDR weapons in Borderlands 1 explode. They were just another weapon manufacturer. 
and yeah. then same as Atlas. And, see, and, and that's then, the thing. That's why in Borderlands 2, they wanted to make, make them more them diverse feel more like, and stand yeah, make out. Make them actually feel like weapon developers, like they're not just trying to sell the same old shit. Yeah. Like they're actually trying to compete with each other. That's what I like about Borderlands 2, is that you can actually pick, like, there are clear distinctive differences between the different weapon types and how they work in-game, and then it's a case of, what do you prefer to do? Then it's a style of play choice, in that, you know, I can get an OP-8 Torque shotgun and not use it, because I don't like fucking Torque weapons, because of the jet-powered bullets. And as a result, it's like, I can get a really great weapon, but because my playstyle doesn't match up with the weapon manufacturer i'm not going to use it but at the same time you give me a ted weapon i got no problem fucking popping one shot reloading it directly into their face and just I watching their health fucking, disappear I, baby maker was where it was at that fuck in fucking borderlands 2 wasn't the baby maker was... basically a ted weapon with like a murph grenade mod on it no basically okay yes actually it had a chance to split into one one extra or two extra guns that would also explode with the same amount of damage as the first. So if you fully, if you shot one bullet and then threw it and then got two gun pops, the damage numbers on them were insane. Now, yeah. funny thing about Ted Weapons is the damage that they deal with the grenade form is actually implemented via your grenades, your grenade weapon stat. So like if your character's passive abilities can influence grenade damage that will influence the damage that Ted weapons deal when reloaded. Which, I'm really? saying this specifically because if you go Guns for Psycho's well. Blood Splosion, you can do insane damage with it. That's why they were saying one of the things to do with Blood Splosion is the Baby Maker. Because you can super buff your grenade in explosive damage and then throw that, and if you get the double Brock, you can do... It was something like 999k damage times 3. God damn. That's yep. more of a boss killer. Yeah. Setup though, than a, uh... That's not clearing a room. Well, I mean, it could clear a room. You just need a lot of ammo to just fucking pop, reload, pop, reload, pop, reload. I hope you got a fucking uh, everywhere. Marcus Bender in your fucking pocket. Yeah. Honestly, that's one thing I really do like about Marcus is the fact that you can just be like, Hey, I'm gonna just pop reloads. Hmm. I really need to use all these. Uh, see, this is the one downside is that like the story is like, Oh man, go into the this area and kill a god. And then, you you never do it alone. You actually end up doing it with a party. So now it's like, alright, cool. I'm gonna kill a god. Right after this Q, finds us two more healers, a tank, and three DPS. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. <laughs> kill a god when we say so. Oh. I can't jump up there, can I? See, I... Uh, let's see. Borderlands 1 loot system is rewarding for several reasons. The best stat rolls are crazy good. I can get any weapon, even a legendary, from any source. Again, you can buy legendaries in Borderlands 2 from vending machines. They're rare, but they're there. Uh, in Borderlands 2, the stat rolls are static since the craziness was shifted from actual good stats to a silly gimmick that more or may not be worth using. I can only get good loot by farming bosses, loot midgets, tubbies, quest rewards. Borderlands 2's loot drops are very limited because it's shifted from world drops to specified drops, which negatively impact. I assume he had entered on accident. Um, I mean, you've got a point there, though, is that, like, if it's got red flavor text, it is going to do something amazing. So it's a case of, it's it, it's not just... You, you still get the experience of, like, kill random guy, obtain random green shotgun. Ooh, this is fucking sweet. And then run around with your new shotgun. Until you kill random skag, and then he spits out a fucking LMG. And you're like, ooh, this is cool. You know what I mean? So you can still have that. 
But what Boyish is talking about is more to the meta of end game, where like if you go look up Borderlands 2 character builds, every single item that they have up there where it's like, oh, if you're gonna go for this character build, you're gonna need the fucking the creamer. Is a fucking rocket launcher that does I don't fucking know what, but it's apparently really good and it's in a lot of character it's builds. It's great. Moxie's frog <laughs> nozzles also in a lot of character builds. Because it's just one of those like <laughs> does great. damage and heals you on hit, you know. So it's like there there are weapons that can do some great, great things. The and and that's what he's saying is that you can't. It's less important for you to just go randomly kill enemies and just obtain cool shit. And it's more about, well, you can't oh, get a grog what's anymore. that? You want this? Well, then you need to do this specific thing. Yes, Johnny, you can get a grog nozzle. No, the fuck you can't. It's only It was only during the fucking event. The only way to get it now is to go and get the fucking quest. And, you, and do you really want to... Like, you'll only have it if you are in your OP8 fucking playthrough. And that is the only way. And I don't think that, I think during the quest, the gun is still like a level 30-something, because the quest itself is in Tiny Tina's DLC. And regardless of what difficulty you're in, yes, the difficulty of the enemies will scale, but I don't think the grog nozzle changes, because the grog nozzle is only used during that quest is to make the dwarves drunk. You're not supposed to be able to kill them with it. The grog nozzle was released as a world drop item. For a limited time. I believe, for a very limited time. I can get five combustion hellfires in the first game. So they would no, all have completely different stats, but on Borderlands 2, the stats on hell five is, hellfires are hardly unless different. Unless you duplicate, you have to dupe either. You have to duplicate and get the grog to get the grog nozzle, or you have to mod. Okay. That is that is the only way. But but, but I have one. the specific thing is your 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 sentence was. You cannot get the grog nozzle anymore. You cannot get the grog nozzle anymore. You can not the from that quest line. One. <laughs> yeah, but are you gonna keep that motherfucker? I, I'm. I was and just pointing honestly, out the flaw in your sentence. Well, the thing is, is the grog nozzle was good during that quest to keep that quest line going. But the thing is, is it the flaw with it was that you had that quest line constantly going. So this fucking weak ass. You, you could just put it in ignore, and then it's just in your inventory. Really? Didn't know that. Hmm. But the point is, is it's just, it was a really weak gun, and you have it, and, yeah. Alright, Boyish. It, it's basically useless for anything other than slag and healing. Boyish is saying in the comments, I can get five combustion hellfires in the first game. They would all have completely different stats. And in Borderlands 2, five hellfires are hardly different. That's because the first loot pool sucks. Um... It was way too wide a range on the stats you can get, so you can get, like, a pistol with three billion, you know. I don't remember what the exact it, stat it, variables they are, but they, they lowered the margin for what you can get for stat-wise on drops. So it was a case because of, instead of it being plus or minus, let's say, 50 damage, in Borderlands 1 it was plus or minus 100 damage, which is a wider margin of you can get something amazing, but you can also get complete shit. Rather than in Borderlands 2, you can get something amazing and then get something slightly more amazing, slightly less amazing. And we are still waiting. I love how the average wait time is going up as we wait. Yeah, it does that sometimes. I hate that. The average wait time, 12 minutes. Then we're going to hit 14 minutes and it's going to go, average wait time, 15 minutes. You fucking slut. Going to keep doing that too. That's the one problem with doing shit at Endgame. If I wanted to fucking set up a, a party finder for Satasha, it'd be instant just because of how quickly well, they could be hopefully like, oh. you can do. hopefully you can do instances under the new trust system. Yeah, wait, well, the trust system was with your squad or with retainers? I don't know. I'm hoping retainers can join in, to be honest. You know what they should do? They should do something similar to what uh, God Eater does. And give you AI controlled versions of people on your friends list. Because that would be cool. Nothing wrong with making guns visually distinct, but guns need to uh, be more than just a gimmick. Borderlands 1 had some gimmicky weapons like the Leviathan rocket launcher, but they didn't rely on gimmicks to be good. 
All right, now what do you mean by gimmick? Are you talking about like, the red flavor text and how they're different? In which He's case... talking about like the grog nozzle does not ever in its description anywhere can you find it tell you that it heals you. Just like any, it's a moxie weapon. Yeah, I was gonna the say moxie, moxie weapon, all moxie, as weapons, moxie heal you. weapons heal you. Yes, that is a gimmick. Torg weapons, the rockets, rocket, rocket bullets, powered that's bullets. A gimmick. Yeah, the, the, how Ted um, does the reload grenade. Yeah, that's a gimmick. That's the gimmicks he's talking about. Again, that just makes the I weapon manufacturers stand out. Well, they're still gimmicks. Those are gimmicks, and I'm guessing he's also talking about how, like, well, like the practi practicable butcher. I don't when know you what that is. get a butcher, this, it's a shotgun. It, Hyperion, I believe. Fast firing, very accurate as, as it fire continuously well, fires. Well, yeah, it's it's the Hyperion. Point is, the point is, with the butcher, the special, the red text nowhere on it tells you that it does what it does. But basically, as you're firing it, it has a chance to not consume ammo, so Ooh. you'll just keep firing it. Well, if it double, if 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 in two times in a row it does not consume ammo, it'll instead actually add it back. Very cool. Or what no, is... wait. Never mind, I'm getting my abilities mixed up. The Butcher, actually, it just add, It has a chance to add ammo to the magazine. The other ability about the not using ammo, that's a Gunzerker thing, where if you have no shields, you have a chance to not consume ammo. I can literally fire those guns <sighs> for a straight 40 fucking seconds without worrying. Uh, the Butcher, very low pellet count, greatly increased fire rate, achieves maximum accuracy more quickly than other Hyperion shotguns. Magazine randomly refills a random amount of ammo as it is fired, given it is wildly variable magazine size in use. Fire rate highly increases under sustained fire. That sounds awesome. Oh, I can show you what they look like, dual wielded. It is fucking fantastic. <laughs> Just bang, 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 bang. You know, this thing only has a clip no, size you're, of like you're... five, but bang, 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 bang. It's it's just reloading itself. Bang, 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 bang. bang. Well, see, here's the thing: you're not doing it right. <laughs> it fires a lot faster. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Pearlescent weapon. Uh. Legendary loot midgets and the fucking zero God one damn it, boss. Skip these cutscenes. Thank you. What cutscenes are you in? I'm getting into this motherfucker. And the mother. <laughs> Calm down. It normally like within seconds will kick that back. Um. Fucking horseshit. You can easily get by in the first Borderlands with a shitty gun because of the linear scaling. Even bad weapons in Endgame are white rarity. Unlike in Borderlands 2, where you have to have good... Well, I'm gonna read that in a minute. First time watching the cutscene, so... Alright, we know we she can mind control with her fucking magic. We already know about that. Which, funnily enough, if I'm not mistaken, all of the primals can do that. They can just control their disciples. I guess. The fuck is Vril? Duty action. I, I, I know what a duty action is. What does a Vril specifically do? Well, it gives you a shit. Uh, let's see. Even, unlike in Borderlands 2. Uh, big move. I'll, t I'll tell you. Hit the shield when everyone else does. Alright. All right. Open your heart to me. Do we have to eat an orb or what? The orb charges your Vril. Snake dead. Like, I don't even remember this fight. To be honest. 
God, this bitch takes a lot of damage. Hi, this is me actually trying to take hate from you. Oh, wait. Alright, well, I'm apparently a beak for this, so. And this is why I get serious. Boom! I love how he tried to use both. I probably could have used Flare there. I'm dumb. I'm getting that I can combo that. I will get back to your comments when I am not in combat there, boys. I want to do that. I want to be all up in her bosom. Oh, God, she got huge. Alright, I'm not in a giant test fetish. Um, oh, God, everyone's fun. I was say, everyone's, everyone's piling in. So. Stack. This can't end well. Are we dancing? Oh, she's. Did you hit the shield? No! No one! No one said to do anything! He said, hit it when everyone else does. It, it what, Frill? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Oh, well, I'm about to fucking die. Frill. You. Like that's why it was weird as I hit the shield. I I thought she was going to pop a shield that we hit. That's why I was confused. Yeah, I'm gonna get it today. Yeah, just keep an eye on everybody. Can you see a blue shield if they, pop around? Yeah, <laughs> if they're bubbling, got it. I got that fucker, Dad. That's no bueno. All of our healers just dropped. Swift cast rage. Yeah, red mage. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's that's a frill thing. Your souls are stained. All right. Well, we got one healer fully up. I don't know what she's about to do, but I don't like the look of that. She's doing it again. Um, can we not? Thank you. I was going to say, we need to settle on positioning here. I can't pop this in streaming. Fuck. I can't, however, pop fucking Embolton. I just need to stop attacking, I guess, to get my fucking mana back. I shall free you from your hate. Come on. Yes, this is for me. Thank you. Need that? Oh fuck, no. that kinda got me. Well, I'm fucking dead, ow. We got as many people stacked as I could. <laughs> All 
Alright, yeah, she... Alright, so basically anytime she pops these fucking bubbles, she's gonna do something that requires us to use them. That's pretty fucking, you know, good game design. To be like, hey, you're, you're gonna need these. Yeah, I was gonna wait for that to go off before I revive. Of course, now I can't... Danger's use... still alone. Very nice of her to actually give us the, the things we need to survive her attacks. Oh, fuck hell. I'm done moving. Ow. God, this bitch hurt. Oh, God. Slender to bliss. Your souls are stained. Nah, that's not a good guess. Although I can. Come on. Re embolden! I gotta stop forgetting about this stuff. Alright, now let's see if we can find a safe place to fucking stand. Can we not? Stop moving. Stop moving! Where are you going? Oh, God. Alright. Trying to place a knock this hit. Balls. Ooh, you got fucking bank busted, I'm guessing? Yeah, all of a sudden I stopped getting heals. you have possibly used Vril to survive? Because she popped Vril without any AoE, so... I, I was under the impression you might have been able to use it there. Okay, the positioning on this boss fight is insane. Oh, fuck me. Everyone fucking stack on me so I don't die. Yay, I didn't die. I am not a melee DPS, so I will not LP. That being said, a monk should LP. Oh, I should move in for melee. I shall free you from your hate. Aha! I remember Flare. Suck my ass. What exactly is awesome? Probably the fact that we keep fucking dying. Alright, let's end this shit. Boom. Or not. He has a billion fucking health. And I'm... Oh, God, what killed me? I, I don't even know what killed me there. I, I thought I was pretty good on health. And then I had none. Oh, we're done. No, it doesn't fucking matter. Well, we literally blew her into particles. We blew her away. <laughs> uh, why is it playing the level up music? Did I hit 70? Oh, wait, no, that's the victory fucking music. Uh, not level up. Anyway, I'm gonna give a commendation to uh, no one, because he left. I got a commendation even though I sucked balls. <laughs> You can't give a commendation to party members. The fuck are you talking about? Like we were already in a party, so you wouldn't be able to give one to me. I know I can't give you a commendation. That's why I'm wondering what the fuck you're talking about. I just wish I could have said been somebody help. left. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was me and one other dude left in here. I was like, I'll give the commendation to the only other guy in the fucking room. But as I was going to do it, he left. It looks like the Ananta did have the Mountain of Crystals after all. Every other tribe. 
gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. Mine's hookers and blow. You! You slew our mistress! She was our hope! Our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel. Don't you see? If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Who are you to question our choice? You who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know Except nothing I can the say gods are all manipulative assholes who just want to consume you. One day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. To help you. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words, and leave me to mourn. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come God, on. my chest piece looks cool. Did you hit 70? No. I don't even know why I got this chest piece. I think I got it from fucking Doma Castle. What is it called? I'll let you know when I'm out of a cutscene. But it's like, it's robes, but it also has like metal plating. On the abdomen and shoulders. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, so, I was reading a comment, but then... But, no, nope, another cutscene. I was about to get back to comments, but... And now she's gonna sass her new boss. Ah, the savage returns, and with her tail firmly between her legs. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have curried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of us. Strange. How's she would think bungler? I'm a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. Oh, snap. I would I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly. Decapitate them. But no longer. If only she had been content with her lot, she might Fedola Rem Lupus, Commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble, sir? Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own? I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield. Had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Oh, yes, my lord. Come on, I know he's going to say it. You were defeated by the resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an icon. Have you anything to say? 
I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. Well, I mean, you gotta respect the honorability there. She's she's owning up to her faults and just saying, yup. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Transcend, my lord? I came here prepared to die. Oh man, a new player has entered the field. The right hand man who is the fucking probably gonna be the stereotypical mad scientist of fucking bullshit. <sighs> Alright, we're finally out and I can read comments. Hold up, two seconds. And that'll pause the timer on my chocobo. Uh Leviathan is a red text, yes. What makes it different from other rocket launchers in the game? Is that it's rockets fire in an arc like a grenade from a grenade launcher as opposed to being a normal shot from a rocket launcher. If they can make manufacturers mechanically distinct from one another while still rewarding hardcore players adequately for spending a lot of time getting the best possible stat rolls, then that will be good in 3, but since 3's loot system is working off the same casual framework that went into 2's loot system, it seems unlikely that 3 will be as rewarding as 1. Again, though, boys, the what it sounds like to me though. is you like the wide variety in stats on a gun. So, like you were saying before, you can get five of the same weapon, and they'll have vastly different stats. When in two, five of the same weapon will have very similar stats if they're at the same level. That is, again, a case of... Do you want to spend an hour and a half killing a boss to maybe get a legendary drop to then find out the legendary drop is shit stats? No, it's if you're going to work hard for a legendary drop, you're going to want it to be rewarding and you're going to want it to pay off. You're going to want it to be The problem wasn't worth the it. good rolls. The problem was how bad the bad rolls were. That too. Again, they, what they did in 2 was they tightened the margin so that the range of DPS or the range of, I guess, quality we can say, how good the weapon is overall, whether it be through the fact that it came with a better reload speed or higher damage or lower fucking or better accuracy or whatever it is you're trying to get out of the gun. They made it so that in two, when you got a legendary, it was it felt legendary. It was a great thing. Every single time I get a legendary weapon in Borderlands 2, I end up using it for several levels because it is far superior to the other shit. Now, you were saying that in a 1, you could play through the game with a white weapon and just keep getting white weapons every level. The problem there is th the fact that it's a, it's a common quality. Shit. It's a common quality thing, so you, you don't... The fuck you shouldn't be using shit? white. Yeah, it's a case of the rarer the weapon is, the better the stats should be. If you're able to play through the game with a white weapon, you don't need legendaries. Like, why the fuck even bother? So, like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it what it comes down to, what it sounds to me, and also, given your, um, I guess proclivity would be the right term? Given your proclivity to go towards things like perfecting Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy, you know, that, that is, you like the feeling of the reward you get from putting hours of hard work into the game. You like knowing that because you've put 100 plus hours into the game, that you are now OP as shit. The problem is in Borderlands 2, you 
can't really get... Well, you can get OP as shit, but it requires basically the equivalent. Because if you look up character builds, you can get OP as shit. And you can get that satisfaction of putting in a lot of hard work to get specific weapons and shit for a specific build to become specific powerful in a specific way. You can do all that in 2. It's just... It sounds to me like you were saying that, again, the, the stat margins in 1 were vastly just different from one another and very wide in margins. So you can end up getting the same legendary. You'd have to spend weeks on weeks on weeks getting the same legendary a fucking hundred times to try to get the perfect roll. When in Borderlands 2, the perfect roll is probably going to be gotten in, like, 20. And uh, hell, I remember specifically farming the B shield off of the fucking uh, Hunter Hellquist in the fucking that piece of shit place. I remembered fucking take the elevator, kill him. Did I get it? Nope. Go back, save, quit, reload, and from that spawn point, take the runner over to the elevator, go up, kill him. And I just, I remember doing that for like two, three hours a day for like three days straight to try to get one B shield. So for me to do all that hard work, get one B shield, and then it be shit rolls, I would be fucking furious. Except in Borderlands 1, there's a system where the higher your level, the better the quality you get. Uh, getting bad rolls was hardly an issue in 1, because the higher your level, the better rolls you would get on gear, higher rarities you would obtain. At level 69 and 1, you would... Frequently get blues, purples, and legendaries from red chests and crimson lance chests. This is best shown during the farmery exploit, which has a shitload of chests that can be farmed infinitely without completing the quest. Very rarely will yeah. you get whites and greens at max yeah, level. The well, the, the reason for that there, Boyish, yeah, is the scaling in difficulty and the scaling in combat. And the fact that, you know, a purple at level 50 is going to be better than a white at level 50. It, it just should be. But also, because at level 50, you're going to get them more often because... Let's say you're using whites at level 5, and you can do 100 DPS. At level 10, you're using greens. You should be doing 200 DPS, if not more. So depending on how you're doing the scaling. But the point of the matter is, is as you're leveling up, the enemies are going to be getting more difficult... As a result, the gear you get needs to be better. As a result, you're naturally going to go towards the higher color or the higher rarity drops because then you know that you can get more done with them. You know that it's going to be a better weapon. So if you have a white, a green, a blue, a purple, and a legendary of the same level, you're probably going to equip the legendary because it's going to probably do the most damage because it's the rarest. And again... To, to have such a wide margin on the equipment in Borderlands 1, if I can get a purple at max level that is better than a legendary at max level because that legendary was the low drop rate, again, I would be pissed off because if you're putting all this time and effort into getting legendary weaponry only for it to come up shit, like, that's, that's some, like, break a controller in rage bullshit. So it's just bad game design. Alright, so the snake people are pissed off I killed their god. I understand that. Sort of. Not really. Uh, one moment. I need to change my class to my ninja. Will the gear I get from this quest actually be better for my ninja? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm wearing the fucking etherite earring. Of course it won't be. <laughs> Question. It's a fucking earring. Are you level 70? What's up? No. Yeah. How close? Uh, not even half. I'm honestly closer to 70 on my ninja now. Two to three dungeon runs. What the fuck is Shorelog? Oh, well, more food. But hey, I get the last ether current, quest-wise. Uh, Johnny, yes. Can you come to the fringes and we can do the other ether currents? Keep going. You're good. Seriously? I'm missing like three of them. Really? Yeah, I actually found one while I was waiting on that cute thing. Oh, I'm in the middle of Namazu's stuff. 
Because I don't know why I hit rank 7. But it didn't give me the ability to buy my uh, thing. So I guess it's maybe rank a higher eight. rank. Yeah. Well, no. The, see, oh, the problem oops, is, is the... Uh, forget what other one I've got. That's, it's like rank 7. But I can buy the mount from it. Oh, different drops. So I'm guessing they maybe the storm blood ones are different than the heaven's blood ones. I don't know. It's a very distinct possibility. Uh. Hey. You would frequently believe this is a system that doesn't exist in future Borderlands games. Yes, it does. I could jump onto my psycho at level 72, and probably. If not, very likely get more blues, purples, and legendaries than I would on a level one. Borderlands One is the only game with a system that rewards players for getting to higher levels. Again, that that's no. All games do that. That's good game design to be like, hey, you've been playing our game for a while. Hey, Which guess what? You're we're going to give you an now increase. You this level 61 gun. That's no, that, that's kind of normal. Well, no, 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 no. He he's saying more a case of rewarding the player by increasing the rarity drop rate as your character levels. Which again okay, is just good awesome. game design because again, as you're leveling up, the enemies are going to get more difficult, which means the gear you get so should you be getting more better guns stats. With better stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's just good game design. I mean, you look at fucking Anthem, they have that for Christ's sake. Fucking, I don't get yeah, greens and Anthem, Anthem anymore. Now? Like, what? What was the whole? Like, what's the whole thing with Anthem? It's basically Destiny Light. <laughs> Light. Yeah. It, it, it's it's fly in your javelin to set area, kill everything in set area, do a puzzle maybe. End mission. Here's your stuff. Do it again. It's one of those Honestly, like the flight in it though makes it a little more boring because it's less of the travel. You're not really enjoying the travel as much. You're not fighting anything. You're just land. Yeah. Let it go down. Jump. Whereas Destiny kind of packs enemies into the area like you can fight them. I mean, even then though, with Destiny, yeah, it's just boring as shit. Or you can just go on your speeder and. Just do like a chase scene type shit. I don't well, know. Well, yeah, Destiny typically has a uh, tighter confined map so that you don't have to speeder for too long. We're on the speeder for an average of something like a minute and a half to get from wherever we are to wherever it says we need to be. Unless you're fucking around and trying to kill people. This is true. <laughs> but I'm, I'm talking about like, if you specifically do your objective, you should be able to get to your objective relatively quick. While in Anthem, you're typically boosting for Five a good minutes away. minute to get to each one. So it's like boost for a minute, minute and a half, get to your objective, wipe out the shit. Now it's like, cool, you've done this, but oh no, now they're attacking sentinels over here. They need your help. Alright, cool. Jump, boost for another minute, minute and a half to find the sentinels. It's not like a case of destiny where it's like it's very, saying, it, it's well, a lot more like, linear in that it's just go like here to lawsuit. here to here to here to here and you're done. Like I keep seeing stuff about a lawsuit and all kinds of shit. Oh, I don't know about, about a lawsuit. I, I like I keep seeing a whole bunch of shit about fucking Anthem, man. Uh, like, just a bunch of crazy shit about Borderlands Anthem, is the only game system that rewards players. Borderlands two and the pre sequel scales up the gear quality you get based on playthrough rather than scaling it based on level. No, it's it's scaled on level. If you're I at get plenty of legendaries level... as soon as I get as soon as I start hitting the higher levels. Well, no, I, I, he's talking about playthrough uh, scaling as opposed to level scaling. It's like, I'm pretty sure if you're at level 25 I mean, at end stats. game for a new game, you should still be getting, like, when I kill the fucking, well, I mean, honestly, that's on any level, really, because the, the way Borderlands is, like, I'm, 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 the specific instance I was thinking of is the, uh, what's his name? The, the warrior at the end of new game, you kill him and it's just massive loot everywhere. That's all cool, and then it's just the thinking of, at, honestly, at any level, though, whenever you kill the warrior, he's going to drop a shitload of stuff. You might get a legendary. You're 
definitely going to get a few purples, a few blues, a shitload of greens, and then an ass load of whites. So it's not even a case of that we get more rare stuff, like level-wise. It's a case that there's just so much of it that you're ignoring the whites at this point because you don't care. And you're just like, all right, a purple. So it's just a case of, again, you're, the higher level you are, the better the gear you're looking to equip and the better the gear that you're going to get. So if you do kill a guy and he randomly drops whites, which can happen at any level from 1 to 72, I can almost guarantee you I can jump onto my psycho, just kill a group of enemies and get a bunch of white weapons. It's just a case of at that level, white weapons are fucking useless. I mean, hell, at OP8, anything but legendary and fucking perilous is useless. Alright, time to advance east. Uh, what else we got in the comments? And one, many of the purples are so good that it's better to have purples over legendaries. Again, bad game design. Legendaries should be legendary by definition. They should be... As the rarest weapon, they should be better than anything else except other legendaries. Hmm. I've done the farmery and one at higher levels enough to know that the wide variety of set rules is not an issue. Well, see, that's them balancing their own issue. They knew that there was a wide margin of the stats on the gear, so they increased the drop, not the drop rate, but the amount of gear you get, which increases the likelihood that something is going to be good. As opposed to in Borderlands 2, where they just vastly limited the amount of gear, the, the scaling. So when you get it, you know it's good. Borderlands 2 doesn't have good world drops, which is why you only ever get whites from enemies at 72. What? Have you played at 72? You get a lot more than just whites. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's rare to kill a random bandit and get a purple, but you can still do it. And like I said before, you can still buy legendaries, purples, and blues off of the fucking Marcus's item of the day bullshit. Yeah. But I mean, nothing but whites. Hmm. Interesting. I should go check my Gunzerker's kill count and see how, and, and then try to figure out how many whites I've apparently gotten. That's a really cool chest piece. I don't know what it is. Damn it, that just reminded me I need to show you my chest piece. Fuck. Man, I'm in a cutscene. Oh man, we got a feast going on. Yeah, you know, we did kind of kill a god and save the fucking valley. So... Nice. Aww, you're all adorable. I love the cat people. They're so goddamn cute. I disagree with the notion that a legendary should well, always be like better than a purple. If a purple is better parts than a legendary, that purple should be better than the legendary because it rolls better. Not to mention that legendaries are usually limited by their red text effects, which can make them worse guns in certain situations. I do agree that given the red text on weaponry, it, it'll change the way the weapon performs, and as such, some weapons might be bad in certain situations because of the way yeah. they perform. You don't want to use a TED weapon in close quarters, unless you're prepared to oh, die. No. <laughs> Especially you... not baby maker. <laughs> Again, unless you're prepared to die. <laughs> or like Johnny over here with the fucking uh, Norfleets in the bar brawl, where it's just, boom, it's Johnny's gone. down, reload. Boom! Johnny's back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get a couple of shots out of each one because my shield starts going down, and with that uh, with that chance one to knock it out, ammo. Yeah, with that one skill maxed out, yeah. So I'm not consuming ammo, but I'm also regening ammo from the sham shield. It's great combo. Oh, Lise. 
like a godly symphony of death and destruction, coupled by, you know, explosive rockets. Actually, they're not even rockets, they're like balls of energy. Were the North Fleets in the first one? I don't know, but I can look that up real quick. I didn't quick. play much of the first one, to be honest. It was before I actually got into the series, and then Borderlands 2 came out. Like, I liked it, but Borderlands 2 came out, I had a job at that point, point. it's like, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go blow him. Norfleet is a legendary Melowan rocket launcher in Borderlands 2. Ah. It is not yeah, obtainable. It does not appear to be obtainable in pre-sequel or 1. I didn't, I don't think they existed in 1. I like Malawan wasn't a uh, manufacturer yet. No, they are. Malawan has always been a manufacturer because they? they're the elemental weapons. Like I said, I didn't play one as much. And it was before I was. Yeah, I was younger. Hmm. Um, I still think that a purple on its best drops should be equivalent to a legendary's normal, and then a legendary on its best drops should be only comparable to other legendaries I, I don't think they should actually touch anywhere near each other i, I believe a legendary if it, it's going to be a legendary it should have it, it should have a reason it to should be. stand out from the crowd as being a legendary yeah like just as per its namesake itself just yeah like how are you gonna have a legendary oh it does five more damage what am i gonna do with that Actually, if you're at the level where you start getting legendaries more often, it's your token. Oh game. God, I get one point. Oh God. Oh, oh Jesus. I've never gotten one point. I've it. never gotten a million experience from one of anything. Yeah, dude, I don't understand it either. I was doing a fucking duty finder with Anissa the other day, and I got like one point two million. I was like, oh damn. Oh no, I've seen I've seen them on duty finders. Like I don't count those. I'm doing fucking beast drops. Oh wow. Alright, do I want... Sure, I'll grab... Let me... Like, I just got 3.3 .3 million experience from 3 beast drops. Oh, wow. That's a little ridiculous. Johnny, come like, over here I'm and give me these up, ether currents. I'm gonna level up Fuck. 67 alchemist tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, actually, I, I'm going to. I'm gonna swap to my leather real quick. And where am I going? Thank you. Fringe. I'm at, uh... Not Rogers Reach. I forget what the fucking name of my place is. Oh, we need to identify soldiers to pass. Cool. Alright. Uh, Peering I am stones. at... Yeah, Peering Stone. You're at the Peering Stones. And you were talking about the fucking snake people. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm, I'm fucking sad. I really wanted that fucking Namazu mount, damn it. Well, you should oh, well. level up one I'll more time. Yeah, I'll probably be able to get it by Sunday. Uh, wrong, wrong mount there, pal. Oh, sorry. My bad. Hundred and twenty-two self. All right, you're too high up. You're out of draw distance. No, it's right here. I don't remember exactly where, but it's around here. There. Good luck. I'm a level 57. I am not going down there. Alright, I'll switch over to fucking combat. Yeah, well, combat. As I stated, I enjoy being a crafter now. 
more than being a fucking disciple for it, mainly because my glamour is just great. I love the way it's fucking fantastic. Alright, kill him. He's the current. Oof. Uh, you are out of range. Oh, no, there we go. 1,004 to the west. See, the uh, problem is, is it tells you to the west, but it's a very generalized cone yeah, I know. to the west. And that's what it irritates me. Uh, agree with the uh, purple, better parts, legendary. I read that one. Demonstrably false that only legendaries and purples can be useful at OP8. A well parted purple combined with slag. And the right build can perform quite well, sometimes better than a legendary If I remember pearl. correctly, the Pimpernel is a fucking blue. Most Borderlands 2... Most pearls in Borderlands 2 are terrible. Interesting. Yeah, most are, honestly. They're fun. Now, don't get me wrong. The gimmicks make them fun. I mean, the like Butcher's the a pearl. Yeah, I know. But the Butcher's actually one of the few good ones. Ah. With the right build. But honestly, it's damage pales in comparison to other builds. Like a fucking conference call? No, a conference call doesn't exist. In 2? Actually, I will say this. Interfacer is actually a decent substitute for the conference call. A lot of people actually go more for the Interfacer. But the conference call actually does more damage. It just depends on the enemy. Um... You need to find a safe place to land. Not exactly. on an enemy, you douche. Water spreads friendly. Alright. Well, they're not friendly, they're neutral, still. Well, don't fucking hit them and they're friendly. If someone hits you, aren't you northeast. gonna fucking punch them back? <laughs> 78 Northeast. So we're pretty oh, close. Oh god, you just hit me. How are you doing today, friend? Oh, it's on that tree. On that broken fucking tree right there. Broken fucking tree. Oh. The one that's literally fucking knocked over. I believe this is a root, sir. Not at this size. Oof. 1266 uh, northeast. Ground. Come on, Johnny, northeast. It's a, root. It's a fucking root. You are a root. You're a I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well played. Uh, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode and the OP levels are still garbage artificial difficulty, though. Uh, yeah, no, th those definitely were. Because it basically was a case of they shoehorned in OVA more stuff. Because people sucks. were like. People were like, but we OP want more Borderlands, so and then they were like, good. uh, OP8, I guess, fucking go, Let's do it again. OP8 is so fucking fun, it's, OP8 sucks, OP8 gear, taking it back to other levels, is OP, is as it great. is described by name. Uh, Johnny, yeah. Northeast. Uh, I believe it's right around here. Earth sprites are pretty good. I have to do it. I, I, I have to do it. Don't do it. I will pet the earth sprite. <laughs> 800 to the north. Yeah, definitely uh, OP8 and the other OP levels were kind of shoehorned in because of fans cheering for more content in the game. And they were like, uh, fucking have this, I guess. 480 north. Oh, so you got the one that was right here on the right at waterfall. People can say what they want about pre-sequel. At least Ultimate Vault Hunter mode is balanced in the game and there's no garbage OP levels. 
I like the OP levels just to get more powerful shit. Uh, no, that's just a lantern -y thing. Oh! I think I... Was that a wind sprite? Nope, nope, nope. That was a wind sprite. Is that the ether current right there? So wait, Johnny, you have Behemoth, right? Yes. It flies, I know. And now I can do it myself! Woo! Thank you. No problem. Alright, so now I can fly in most of Stormblood. I think I'm missing one zone. Have you been to the locks? Nope. I need to do the peaks. And then... No information to display for the other zone, so... We'll get there when we get there. You, you'll get there. So. Character classes in pre-sequel were actually balanced with Ultimate Vault Hunter mode in mind. Borderlands 2 was not balanced with Ultimate Vault Hunter mode in mind. See, my problem with Borderlands is by the end game, you have to have like a fucking meta build or you're just going to lose. I like the ability of kill a guy, pick up gun, hey, this is pretty nice, and then kill people with that gun. And, and at like OP8, it's a case of it needs to be a Norfleet or I can't use it because otherwise my build is useless. It's like, oh, damn. My Norfleet build is weak. <sighs> It doesn't survive an OP8. I have to change my shit around for OP if I actually want to do OP8. I mean, my you Norfolk do the build is specifically for like running people OP8 around the store Barbara. and having fun. Yeah, that's just, but honestly, that's what my Norfleet build is for is for just group clears. Like if I went up against fucking OP8 Terramorphus, I would get my shit pushed in. Yeah, that's surprising. Now, if I was to switch to a fucking Pimpernel fucking Zerker build, on the other hand. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Why is it every time I load into a cutscene, I remember to show Johnny my chest piece? Because I see whoever my own says, character with uh, it. Whoever says blue weapons are shit, never used a Pimpernel. And Pimpernel red text. Blue, yeah, but it's a blue weapon. Yeah, in all honesty, my personal preference, uh, anything with a red text is its own tier. Whether it's blue, yeah. green, purple, yeah, doesn't matter. It's a red text. Uh, but uh, basically, the Pimper, I think it was a glitch. I honestly, I think they fixed it, but I'm not sure. But oh, basically, guns are, if you gun Zerk the Pimpernel, I believe, in the left hand, and the Creamer in the right hand, and then just fired the Pimpernel, the Pimpernel takes on the damage as well as the healing effect from the Creamer. So you're essentially firing, and on top of that, whenever the Pimpernel shots hit, they have a chance to split. So now the Pimpernel is firing exploding scatter projectiles that, that heal go, you. That do, Question: If that you heal use the you Rough Rider, the would you have no rocket. shield and therefore constantly regenerate ammo? What with the butcher? No, with the Rough Rider. I mean, the Rough you were rider, saying you have an ability where if you rider, have no yeah, shield, the rider, yeah, that no, the ability makes it where if you have no shield you have a chance to not consume ammo. Ah. The re regaining ammo thing, that would only really work if you were using, like, the other relic I have. It's called, it's a hoarder relic for Gunzarker. And I've got the best roll I can get on it for an OP8, but basically it gives you, it gives you, your whole team, health, uh, ammo regeneration. So if you have the Rough Rider shield equipped with that relic and you didn't consume ammo, well then you regen ammo. So technically, I guess. It would that would work. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't but be able to. But honestly, turn that down would there. be kind of a negligible build just because like the hoarder relic, if you've got a oh, max roll on I have on on it, you almost can't use enough ammo. Wow, I did not realize how large this place was. Jesus fucking hell. <coughs> Peaks are massive. Butter. 
the first area you yeah. visit. Because <coughs> I believe they are do if fucking Nana's oh, rank up, my Moogles should rank up as well today. Have I really been doing them Man, all? Too. I think I must I must have been doing them all this week because though usually it's one rank up per week if you do them all. All right, I'm gonna read but that comment because it's rather right. large when I hit the city, which is like right there. Whoa. What am I about to post in? Dude. That is fucking cool looking. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh, let's see. Borderlands 1, best game in the series in regards to end game. Not only is it the most rewarding game in the series, you can use whatever the hell you want. At max level hey, in 1, I think question. this was flawed though. I like the pre-sequels approach to scaling better. In 1, you could use anything regardless of build. But in pre sequel you have to build around the gear you want to use in order to get good mileage out of it. Uh, pre sequel scaling may not be the best, but it's just high enough and just low enough. That Borderlands 2 endgame is too restrictive. Borderlands 1 is too open. Pre sequel best case endgame, in my opinion, aside from the crappy loot system. Yes, Johnny? Uh, well, it's more for boyish. What is in your opinion because i don't i i don't i haven't really played much of borderlands one what is in your opinion is the most op slash useful class all around like highest damage for your buck i guess i'll get an answer in 10 seconds or 20 seconds. That way he's got 10 seconds to write it. <laughs> I just remember him talking about in Borderlands 1, it was a lot of cover based. And in Borderlands 2, it's a lot of just run and gun. But from what uh, we've been doing in Borderlands 1, it's just run and gun. Alright, that's another quest complete. Jesus, it's already 10 o'clock. Oh, we did spend like 20 minutes waiting on a fucking timer to fight one boss. Oh, hello, what do these look like? That's a pretty cool chest piece. That, yeah, that's a tank. Well, oh, I'm that is... That is sexy, in all honesty. Oh, there it is for Samurai, and there it is for Ninja. Oh, I actually prefer the land servers. I might have to get this and die it. That might be good for my ninja, though. Lilith by far. All of them are broken. Lilith is the most broken. Really easy to die as her if you aren't careful. She is a glass cannon. Huh. Yeah, I heard she was powerful by endgame, but the thing is, is, towards the beginning, she just feels very... Feels like her ability is honestly only useful as a whole oh shit run away. You're not using it right, because I used to use it to assassinate. Like, I, I don't know, like it just seems weak. I remember what I would do is I'd pop her ability. I, I, I think there's a specific tree that like increases the damage you deal with melee coming out of your super yeah, or something. The, the because tree I would called assassinate. Yeah, I'd use her phase walk, go into the group, melee one dude, he would just explode, and then I would start shotgunning everyone else, because I was right there. Huh. Alright, so we have another huge settlement to make. Well, as far as powerful slash survivability... Uh, more though like I'm not a fan of a complete glass cannon like Zarker was pretty beefy but good great damage
I mean, it's not wrong. We're gonna have to deal with it when we get to that bridge. Again, love those ropes. one has some maps that with run and gun if you play less spongy characters like lilith uh you can't get away with run and gun 24 7 most of the maps revolve around cover based gunplay and the first whoa cutscene where the fuck is this oh this is some this is the magitech facility where he's fucking with the butcher the other chick Oh, shit. Well, I don't like where that's going. No, I really don't like where that's going. What are they about to do? What's up, Merida? I should just start calling her Merida, because every time she talks, I think I'm fucking brave. If you could change your feet, what size would you choose? Let us see. So, she I'm lives. surprised that wasn't a world in or merely lucky, though that too much the reader. I agree. My lord, what have you done to me? Wasn't that that was Disney, wasn't it? No, we got are intellectually and physiologically mm. superior in almost all respects. We lack the hereditary traits required for reliable manipulation either. Hence our unique inability to wield magics. Oh, they gave her magic. Deficiency, for want of a better word. So us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser race. Give her magic. We were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold north oh. reaches of Ilsa. Oh, you're about to go into... Oh, shit. You're about to get your next dungeon. Pete with vast deposits of cerulean, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage. Oh, that would explain the Magitech soldiers and all that shit. They can't wield magic naturally as Garleans, so they had to use technology. Yes. It was with huh. Magitech that we grew strong. That's a wise called magic. It is the Garlean's yes. magic. Ultimately, this was an or the Empire's magic an intrinsic problem. What I wanted was because not a device to generally it's just through it's always just the, Garlean the Empire. Gene. I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield. Which magic. honestly, this whole the whole Unless Empire thing also connects them. Met with consternation in the Imperial connects. Court. The Final Fantasy XIV's world with another with other Final Fantasies through that as well. That's the part that confuses me though, is it the case if he's talking about Garlands can't use magic. So Garlands are different than humans? Well, yes, technically they are, they have a third eye. You gave me this treatment. But I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light, it is as a second sun. I am informed that Alagiria was recently occupied by the Resistance, and that an attack on Specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity. Uh, she's going to be the final boss of the next Your dungeon, I'm sad. 
Skulls, was it? I really like her. I don't want to kill her. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counterattack against the insurgents. No. Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty I would entrust to you. Oh man, it's our boy Thonford. Nice. Oh, alright. Uh, back to comments. Borderlands 1 has. No, nope, read that. Uh, play it by playthrough 2 and 2.5. When you have better gear, you can run and gun more often. Uh, probably Brick if you want something strong, but can tank a lot. Blastmaster Brick is really good. One of his first skills in a tree will actually let you boost max HP. Roland, on the other hand, is less tanky, but has more health than Lilith, and his action skill will draw aggro. Yeah, I really liked Roland in the fact that his turret can heal people if you want it to, what regenerate ammo if you gun? want it to. Huh? What did he say about run and gun? Uh, well, I was talking about Lilith and run and gun and the way the fucking, that we were just kind of running through and murdering shit. Oh. Uh, Lilith has the highest potential in the game, though. She's more risk-reward, thus takes more skill to do well with. Magitek seems to be less advanced versions of AMP, Anti-Matter Manipulation Principle, in 13. Didn't the amps the use room. magic to work, though? Hmm. Alright, that robe doesn't look too bad. I believe they used magic, magic to actually work, whereas oh. the Magitek soldiers themselves are powered right. by a Kinda chemical like that dope. is basically like fuel called ceruleum in this one. Right, hopefully we can end this stream on the next dungeon, because... Like, do the next dungeon, or...? Doing the next dungeon, yes. I'm hoping. That being said, I have no idea how far I am from it. Like, I well, get on the quest? map, but... Story-wise... Uh... Quest? The quest is 68. Yeah. Oh, it's a level 69 dungeon, so there you Um, how's Mordecai, though, like, towards end game? Like, I want some, I want to be able to clear out a room like I do in Borderlands 2, essentially, and I want, and I don't know, because honestly, the immobile turret, I don't know if that would be better Sounds for like me Sounds like Blastmaster than... Brick. Really? But I always, but I heard, I was looking up the builds and stuff, said that Brick is just negligible damage towards in-game. Compared to the basically everyone else, he has the lower damage. Yeah, because he's more tanky. I don't know if that's true. 
I know his ultimate is like fucking reduces damage taken. And one of the and things just... pissed me off about him is one of the skills I've seen, one of the last skills he gets, something about the. It, I forget what it exactly said, but it was like activates the buff for so many seconds to regenerate rockets. But to regenerate rockets, like it says, this buff stays active for seconds and then you regenerate two rockets per minute. That so chances are the lot. buff itself doesn't last 30 seconds. Alright, if I have to kill you, I'll kill you. That doesn't need to turn with my name on it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I, uh, I, I went through the game with Roland and Lilith. I really like the I originally utility of the turret. Mordecai. Because of the same reason, though, utility of the bird. Like, if you made him beefy, if you made the bird beefy, you could just hide behind cover and keep summoning. Like, you get health, you get ammo. Yeah, I was tempted to get that skill. Uh, AMP tech generally used what's called mana drives to allow humans who are unable to use magic to synthesize the effects of magic, which is why Psycom soldiers buff each other and stuff without actually being able to wield magic like the Lassie. That's right, in 13, normal people couldn't use it, only Lassie could. How about you, Jelzara? Any trouble? Yeah, shit's trying to kill me. I killed it first. Uh, so we're done with that. Oh, hi, new chest piece. Uh, I'm gonna hate it, though. Well, I can't say I'll hate it. I just, I really do like the chest piece I have. So I'm gonna be sad. It's gonna be like, cool, I got it. It looks pretty. And two hours later, it's gone. New chest piece. Better stuff. Oh. So wait a minute. Oh wait. So the attack on that fucking stronghold is happening now? And I'm not involved? Oh, that's not gonna end well. Someone's gonna get taken fucking captive and I have to save their ass. Calling it. I like how, the, how this guy with one arm is just tearing people apart. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Rob on. Ah. Uh, mighty, mighty. Reasons. I am in the immortal flames. Rob on. You lured the fool onto my blade. Do not try to deny it. I just find it hilarious that Rob on and the fucking the, the Lala Fell keep calling him father, and I'm just thinking to myself, he probably takes shits as big as you. <laughs> He's adopted. No, legit, he's actually adopted. But Conrad seems to believe he can convince them to lay down Like, it actually tells you at one point. I forget what point, I can't remember if it's a side quest or what, but it tells you that he is adopted son of Rabon. That just reminds me of fucking Thor Ragnarok, where it's just like, <laughs> Loki is my brother. He's tried to destroy the world more than once and is proven <laughs> to be untrustworthy. He's adopted. Ah! <laughs> I uh, haven't used Mordecai or Brick before, but I've seen them in action. Mordecai has a really good capstone in one of his trees that lets you, if maxed out with 5 points, get 100% shield penetration. That would be the sniper tree all the way to the left. Yeah, the trespass. Uh, it allows you to use a good revolver to basically kill all shielded enemies in a few hits, or even one hit if your weapon is high enough. Basically with 100% shield penetration. Yeah, there's penetration. a pistol that shoots shot- there's a pistol that shoots shotgun shells. Oh, Maggie. I still want that in Borderlands 2. Enemy forces have overrun the lower facilities and appear to be but yeah, it, on the it, main it tower. counts towards that ability. So trespass, trespass pro plus that pistol has been and is, ready is to one of the, I believe, a meta build because it essentially allows you to shotgun through shields. Stand down, commander. Mm -hmm. Tell them to stand. I just I don't know about Brick. That's my problem. Is like by end game, hearing that he's negligible, and considering how much I like being overpowered, negligible is not a word I want to hear. I want nothing more to tell. To leave 
I don't want to see other people doing more than me. Lord Zeno said no reinforcements. He would have us use the main cannon to destroy the installation. Fuck. Kill that. Initiate the firing sequence. Wars are won on the backs of the dead. Theirs and ours. There is no truth but this. We must remain. F yeah, I figured. So, yeah, we were banking on the fact that they wouldn't destroy these towers, and now they're destroying these towers. Hey, who'd have guessed? Something that happened without me there went shit sideways. Deploy main cannon! That's brother. Uh, da, 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 da. The masher, it's a revolver with times six damage modifier. Nice. Yeah, that's what it was. Any revolver can spawn with that damage modifier since the masher is a barrel, not a gun. Ah. For our people. Ah. For our future. Maggie's a legendary I Jacob's revolver in Borderlands 2 that when you pull a trigger consumes one bullet but fires six in a shotgun like cluster. And I'm just thinking that plus a B shield is going to be stupid. Because you have the accuracy of a revolver with six shots. Yeah. I mean, you could dual wield it too, probably. But at the same time, B shields are the same flaw. It applies for all B shields. It's got to be full. Hmm. Shield plus sniper rifle. That's why I just the sham is just a permanent fucking thing for me. What I'd love is B shield. Like I, I wish the game had stealth mechanics in that you can get a silent sniper rifle or a silenced anything for that matter, and can kill an enemy without immediately alerting every other enemy in the fucking room. Cause it would be cool to have like the B shield plus a silenced weapon to just. Room's just fucking dead, and everyone's like, the fuck? <laughs> must have been a rat. Yeah, it must have been a mud group. Or, must have been a skag. <laughs> <laughs> that is a huge fucking cannon. Damn those rats. Yeah. Uh, let's see. If you want highest possible DPS in one, I recommend Lilith, who has the highest potential. Mordecai may be good if you prefer to snipe, since he can stabilize snipers greatly. Which is one of my biggest gripes with one's gunplay. One has better gunplay than two in every aspect except in regards to the sniping. Huh. Those treacherous bastards. Their people were still fighting. Fun Understood. All forces retreat. I repeat, all forces retreat. I still think the tower's gonna collapse on some fucking domes. Yep. Chances are we're gonna lose a few folks. Wait for it. Oh. I thought they were gonna pull a Spider Man fucking thing and he's gonna get captured and have to fucking pull himself out. Alright, see, that doesn't look too bad given the, the waistcoat I have. Still don't like the look of my hat, though. I don't like the brown on this gown. Like, the blue is good. If we can get that brown area to more blue and then it'd be like a blue and yellow combo, I think that would accent really well, but... Fashion Souls! It's one of those things, it's an RPG, and stats matter more. Let's push on. 
So how do I unlock the other beast traps? Because I've yet to do that. Like, I've been to the snake village, but Those they don't quests. have beast trap quests. They're side quests. You're talking There's... about, you want the sea turtles? Oh no, I already have the fucking Kojin at like level 6. And who else are you looking for? The snakes. Oh, it's a side quest. Yeah, she's freaking out about her brother. Understandable. You gotta get further in the store to even get that uh, one. Uh, you only need a prize, best. Oh man, discovered a new location. 20k XP. Who do I need to stab in the face? I mean, I have healing magic too. I can. You're fucked. I guess. I guess not. Okay. Holy crap. Uh, Lilith's phase walk is also just broken. Temporary damage immunity. Melee attack out of it at the right frame. Right before it ends, you can exit the phase walk sprinting. If you fall into a bottomless pit, you can phase walk before it kills you. And when you respawn, you won't lose any money. Many skills she has make the phase walk even more broken. Temporary 72% damage reduction after phase walk or restoring HP during phase walk is a skill that passively is a skill that passively increases total phase walk with the right skills and the right class mods. It's stupid broken. Did I just cast cure on people. No, I just have to aid them manually. That was one thing I really liked in, uh, what was it? Fucking Divinity Original Sin is that, like, they had some crazy ass things like this where it's like, you have to heal these people. Now you can buy bandages, or if you have Rich. anyone with healing magic, just manually heal them. Hey, Rich. Yeah. I say we start over our Borderlands Plus playthrough. You go, Roland. I'll use Lilith. I don't like where this is going. Johnny, I don't like you like that. Why did I know you were going to that? God damn it. No, I just want the fucking heels and shit, because apparently she's a fucking glass cannon. Oh yeah, no, I could have told you she's a glass cannon. The only skill she has that'll help her in any way defensively is you heal and phase walk. Otherwise, almost everything else is like, there's the damage reduction out of phase walk, but I think it's like five seconds. Um, and I think those so are the only two really told me skills. much about Brick yet. Okay, Twitch, can you calm the fucking, calm your tits, for the love of God? My stream health on Twitch is just, it's Conrad. fucking Conrad. weird. Alright, who's Conrad and why do I give a shit? Ah, the old guy. Well, I mean, they did drop a building on him. It was all so sudden. Conrad had just convinced the last few skulls to surrender when... When, when we heard we carried the survivors to safety, but Conrad's... We have done what we can for him. See, again, I don't understand the implication and and Conrad? the effect. I, I don't... How do I explain this? I don't understand how this is supposed to be an intense moment for us where it's like, Oh no, Conrad is dying. Raise. Like, why can't we just raise the motherfucker? He's still alive, why can't we heal him? Well, that's that. 
Or is the implication that as the warriors of light, we are capable of reviving and healing one another, but as a standard human, he's fucked. That would explain Don't why some, why word. a lot that You'll wouldn't exp recover. that we wouldn't recover. really explain why a lot of uh, main story characters stop here. at no, pri prior have died. That also helped. They are at, everyone we've brought. They had the echo, I know you which essentially away. makes them equivalent to warriors of light. Yeah, but like when we first make our character, we talked to a giant fucking crystal. You know, we're talking to literally the god of light in this world. So do they talk to the same god? Like, are they the chosen? That's why we are the icon slayer. Not everyone. But, like, we go in with other warriors of light as icon slayers. That is actually the story, roughly, of nearly every Final Fantasy, by the way. Um, Final Fantasy Dissidia went over that in the fact that the two gods, Discord and I don't remember the good, the, the light god is his name, but basically they jump, they, they live in a plane of existence outside of Final Fantasy, but influence what occurs in every universe and can jump between the galaxies or the universes and influence them. So there will always be good and evil in the world that they are in. So wherever there are warriors of darkness, there will always be warriors of light, which is why in Final Fantasy 1, you can name your character whatever the hell you want, but his name by default is just warrior of light. And he is literally put there by the goddess of light to fight against the powers of darkness put there by Discord. And so it's just a case of wherever there is light, there will always be dark. And so while there may be people doing good or bad in a given place, we are a warrior of light put there by a goddess. And that is why we are more powerful. And rip comrade. F's in chat for Conrad. Uh, keep in mind, Lilith is best with SMGs and elemental damage. Happy to give pointers on Lilith when y'all restart your playthrough. You see, I was tempted when I played Mordecai. I was like, do I want to play through the tree for the shield breaker or play through the, the, <laughs> the looter? I like the looter more in that kill skill increases drop rate of gear it's like all right cool so killing shit gives gear and also increases the drop rate of getting good gear cool See, and that's why i was thinking doing the double morty i mean did you play whatever the hell you want it's your character Next round, double the charge. are they gonna fire on the tower again who the fuck are you you are not Xenoph. Are you a Stinian? Come. Yep. Hug. We are needed. Wait, isn't Stinian evil now? Because he merged with Nidhogg? Nope. Last well, part of Heaven's Word, you fight Nidhogg and they separate. He absorbs it. He absorbs Nidhogg instead of Nid Nidhogg absorbing him. That's yeah. a Cerulean pipeline! Huh. Impossible. How could one man? Well, to be fair, technically, at the end of Heaven's Word, they throw the eyes off the uh, the bridge, the big bridge, and that and they just fall off into the abyss. But Estinian also withheld some of the power from the eye, doing due to being merged with Nidhogg for so long. He retained some of the malice and hate and magical power of the dragon. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Why did Estinian say you're welcome, boy? Who is he welcoming? Notify all units. I want that intruder found and get the engineers a boy. Yeah, no. Boy. Ah, 
Oh, God, I still gotta go I finish mean... that. I really need to just finish it. Just get over my thing with the that I'm having with this fucking Valkyrie Queen and just be like, fuck this. Why? What's wrong with it? I keep fucking. Die. I can't fucking kill the bitch. Oh, I've seen people kill her unarmed, like just punch her to death. I I I I cannot fucking kill the bitch. I have tried, and tried, and tried, and I have some fucking damn good gear, to be honest. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't know what I can get at this point to beat her, to make it any easier than what it is, and I just, I, I, I cannot manage to fucking, because there's just certain shit that you cannot dodge. Oh, hey, Nathan, all right. Cool, while well, I'm here. Just... Well, yeah, that's why you have a shield. Nah, and then... No. And then sometimes that same shit you can't dodge can't be blocked either, because it'll just knock your shield up. It'll break your... Wait a minute, you're talking about for Valhalla. When she screams for Valhalla, jumps upward, slams down, it's a case of it's hard to dodge, unblockable, and if it hits you, she steps on your head and does like a quarter of your health instantly. Oh, yeah, the fucking Valkyrie Queen wants to kill all the other Valkyries. You yeah, she has mechanics from her. all of the other Valkyries. I know, but that's the thing is, every Valkyrie had some kind of mechanic that just was ridiculously... could It just, it was just on an uber level of you might, you probably cannot fucking get out of this. So you would take the damage. No, there was always the a way out is, of this. How do you get out of the uh, flash move? Where she does the fucking flash. You have to back away from her. As I recall. No, it doesn't matter how far but away you back from her. That move hits across the fucking area. I know because I've been across the area when she's... Try not looking at her? Uh, I tried that too because it was a flash move. And Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't... I don't know which one specifically you're talking about. Like, I remember there was one that, like... She would, she would fly up into the air and do this super, like, an unblockable... Very hard yeah. to dodge scythe move, but the thing is, is she always wound up super long for it, and if you have the boy shoot her, it'll just stun her clear out of it. And then it wasn't that one. It was, it was... The one I was having a problem with was fucking thing. 4 Valhalla. So when I started to run into that fucking move, it was just a case of you have to get your timing very fucking precise. Or it's just, hi, I'm on yeah, your face. She... Wham, yeah, wham. Well, she'll jump towards you and fucking slam you into the ground if she hits you. No, she jumps up, clear out of, like, just out of the area. And then we'll oh, always nah, land that shit, directly you just dodge on you. Roll. You just dodge roll like a motherfucker. A lot of the times and I try to dodge, dodge I still roll. get fucking nailed. Well, that's the thing, is you cannot dodge roll in a predictable pattern. You have to literally dodge right, alright, now 180, fucking start dodging left, and it fucks with oh, you. Oh, oh, alright, you're saying that she tries to predict where you're gonna be when you land, yes. so you have to serpentine. You have to, yep, exactly. She, she tried, they had, that makes the sense. AI actually tries to predict where you are. Uh, let's see, uh, read that one. Lilith actually has more defensive skills than the two I mentioned. I just listed a few of the more prominent ones. Ah. I just don't remember her having much in terms of defense. I, I remember if you wanted to be a tank, brick. If you wanted to do serious damage, Lilith and... Mordecai, and then Roland was like the middle ground with your turret, because you can turn the turret, you can make the turret do more damage, make the turret heal, make the turret... I'm pretty sure one of the ultimates is people around the area of effect of your turret are revived. And then another one is, uh, you have, ammo regeneration. You have a chance to be revived. And ammo there's... recharges at the top. It, it's actually literally one of the... Like, I could have done had both health and ammo recharge. Yeah. Like, it had a... Roland had a great utility with the turret, just the fact that you could throw it down and be like, Hi, I can't really be stopped. Deal with it. The At ultimate was game. us. The ultimate was a supply drop. It'll just randomly here comes the fucking parachute box. Alright, I don't know what this icon is on the map. Johnny, I'm gonna need you to The Magitech is back objective. What? Oh, for the 15 event. I, I, I guess? 
There's oh, a quest line for it. There's a fate going on called the Magitech is back, and that I think is where it's going to. Hello, person with no there's name. A, there's a quest line for the Noctis thing. It, oh, holy that Jesus! Is a part of it. I've. Oh my god. So this giant fuck. You know, well, there's no one here to fight this thing, and I know I'm not soloing it. Fuck that noise. See ya. I want to fight it, but fuck that noise. Okay, so it's a case of big boss spawns goes from A to B. You have to stop it. Got it. Uh, Lilith has the least defense of all the character classes, but she's not devoid of survivability. Ah. I mean, that makes sense. Why aren't you giving me gear? A lot of walking around, so fuck that noise. Mount. Titan loves me, this I know, for the kobolds tell me so. Dodging landslide's not that hard, oh good lord, he smushed our bar. <laughs> <The fuck? laughs> this guy's got a fucking song for Titan, this is fucking great. Now it's time for his stage two, pray the noob know what to do. Free the scholar from his gal, limit break or we will fail. Without stone skin, I will cry. Why won't this fat ass just die? Oh my god. This is great. 10 out of 10. I love that song. Oh, I interesting. So we're still fucking, fucking with people's tactics. Yay, new weapon. What's that bow look like? 
Ooh, pretty. Alright, that's a really cool gun for the mech. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to this dungeon by, uh, by, by 11. We're already looking at 1040. Fortunate. What level is your quest? Something to look forward to for tomorrow. Well, what level is your quest? 68 still. Tomorrow's probably gonna be Borderlands. name of your quest above the churning waters okay so you have that one i don't like how much damage you do in a single hit stop a lot of fucking damage So you have you have three quests, four counting the one you're on till the sixty nine quest. Does that unlock the dungeon, or does that just give me to sixty nine? Climb, bitch! I can fly. Pulls out a Skyrim horse. And there's only, it's within the first one, two, three, four, within oh. the first five quests in the 69, so you might have a total of I was like eight. eight quests. What the fuck is this arc? This is cool looking. Link it. That is fucking open to my stream, dude. It's a fucking monumentous. Massive. Oh, it's a monument? Where? The peaks. Oh, the boat! Yeah, that's what an arc is. Yeah, I still don't know what the fuck that is. Sorry. I'm honestly quite sad that Doma Castle was flooded and destroyed. And I hope that one day it is repaired to be a city-state. We can hope. God, if you took all the cutscenes from this game and took all the combat out of it and just played cutscenes, you could still fill like a fucking week and a half. <laughs> oh, Johnny, I found out there's a bug for the uh, main scenario quest where you can skip cutscenes. You mean the DC one? Yeah, I was told just kill the app and restart it. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it. Well, you do it once at the beginning and you skip all cutscenes throughout. 
Really? <sighs> so you you don't have to do it for every cutscene? Uh, I don't believe so. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. All I know is I legit, like, you know that big cutscene with the dude in red who complains about Sid? Mm -hmm. Over the course of that cutscene of him talking, the rest of my team had killed him, entered the next cutscene, fought the boss on the elevator, killed him, entered the cutscene, got to Ultima, and then I actually, when I came out of the first cutscene, it just went into the next cutscene, into the next cutscene, into the next cutscene, and then I was in the Ultima fight with him casting Ultima, and at like 5%, and I just ran up and started smacking him. I was like, okay, cool. Y'all just skipped like three bosses without me. Awesome. <laughs> I fucking hate that place. But the experience you get is fucking insane. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, let's see. Of the weaponry, my mechanist is my highest class. But it's okay, because the next one should have... Oh, you're going with physical DPS. There's the sword. Honestly, I kind of want the sword. Just because it looks like a fucking master sword. Oh, that axe is fucking beautiful. I like the crimson on that shit. Wait, what's on that axe? Is that a fucking gargoyle? Dragon or something. Oh, uh, can I get both of these? Oh, and the Dark Knight weapon looks cool, too. Fuck, I want all three of these. And the Samurai weapon. Oh, I like the red on the blade. Damn it, I want all four of these. Shit. Johnny. Is it Link possible? Them. Oh, all right. I can do that. Nope, no, I can't. I can try on... Oh, no, there's Link. Cool. What are they called? I was going to say, it's a uh, Moldebidi, Moldebidium. Oh, Moldebidium. Moldebidium, okay. yeah. That's a normal weapon, and you can buy that off of the market board. Awesome. You should be able to. And I could probably buy I them mean, in the fucking, the, the keep that I just came from. <laughs> possibly. I just like the look of them. I would use them for glamour. I like the axe, definitely. The red fucking the crimson of the axe, and then it has like a dragon on it. The long sword just looks like a fucking, uh, like I said, the master sword. I want to make a... Oh, God. There's probably something... Yeah, no, definitely. Knowing the internet, there's already a fucking glamour set to make you look like Link. Why would I ever want to talk to you? Oh yeah, we're going. I ain't exactly gonna sit around and do fucking nothing. Let's go put holes in things that don't want holes. I mean, Samurai is the one... No. Ooh, I like the look of the Red Mage one. It is very red, as I'd expect. But it's also better than what I have, so I'm going to equip it when I get it. 
Oh, fuck. That's not big. Oh, hello, Blue Quest. Let me guess. Fucking, uh, ether current. Yuppers. Oh, and belts. Alright, it's a side quest. I care very little for your story. So many quests. I'll do them on my ninja. I'll be how I level ninja to 70. Fucking doing 8 billion quests. What's up, bot? Bout? Bout? I fucking don't know how to pronounce it. Cool, side quest. Don't care. Why are we gathering information about the dude we literally just talked to? There's an Aether current. And... 116,000 XP. Okay, that I need fucking 10 million. So we're still looking at another 6 million to go. I'm at 6 of 11. Boosted XP phase, so be set. I still need to get the trophy for doing a thousand fades. Still can't believe it. Fucking a thousand. Jesus. That's a lot of fades. This should be crafting fades. That'd be interesting. Ready for battle. Pulls out the needle. No, no, not ready. Well, I mean, you could be ready for battle. Like, hey, we have a fucking military force in need of uh, armor. So you're going to have to craft as many, you know, craft as many, I don't know, fucking press plates as you can in this time. Something. Be a different way to level up your crafters. That would be cool, but I don't see them ever doing that. I can't wait for the trust system for gathering. Just mining, and I've got a guard convoy going. Yeah. Yeah. 
one down. And that's the other down. Is that all I needed to do here? Also, I just realized I haven't done any of the ninja quest lines since level 60. That'll be interesting. Just do the 63, 66, and then like the. Oh, what is it? 63, 6, 8, and then 70? I think that's the timing on it. Or it's 3, 6, and then... No, because there's definitely one that I need. I like, there's a red mage for 58. Or 68, I mean. I don't know, the fucking... That number's really small. I keep thinking it's a fucking 5. Oh, you're very large. Dude, you're a boss in fucking Doma Castle. How do you expect me to solo this? Oh, it's a bitch. It's still spam circle of death. That's kinda cute. You're nowhere near as big as that, so. Probably should have hit you with impact. What about a smarter swift? Let me get it on this side of you. I mean, I would use my sword combo to kill you, but you're like 5%. You wouldn't live for it. No. Go away. I thought we'd hit 70 today. Two. Kinda sad. That griffin go fuck off. Oh cool, I can just fight some level 68 whatever the fuck those are. They're like a giraffe with fucking dwarfism. Or not a dwarfism, sorry, elephantitis. And new rapier. Oh man, Pugilist weapon, what do you look like? Not cool. Trident, what do you look like? Oh yeah, dude, I did fucking Doma Castle, and I, the fucking, oh wow, hey, you remember the part where I said the ninja should just have a weapon that's a giant kunai? I guess what they have. Fucking dagger, so I click giant kunai. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm grabbing. Anyway, um... But I did Doma Castle, and the final boss dropped the fucking spear if I ever get my hands on that fucking clave. It looked so beautiful. I will never use another fucking lance. Or another clamor. I will use that lance, or clamor it over whatever I'm using, because that... Oh, it's such a cool looking pole arm. Anywho. What the fuck we doing here? Just for your contact. We not have a tick mark above it. There you are. What's up? Aha! Paid attention to the story. Courage was the past craze. Thank you for that, Johnny. Sorry. So no one in the village just saw you walk away from your post? What if they're under attack right this second? What if I'm the distraction for the Empire to destroy your settlement? 
Not followed. Winning collection. Fucking what? Uh, not followed, were you? And then three people come running up. Hey, what's up? I was followed by allies. Oh my god, she looks like she's in the lollipop guild. Hey. The, the fucking, the, uh, Rotogarin, or whatever the fuck the name of their species is. She is massive, and we are all, like, four feet tall. Like, like, at, at this height, I can, I can just, you know. Well, apparently no, there I'm are people that us. will pay for, uh, Bim Roy characters to R RP with them. Are you telling me I need to make some gold? Oh, Dude, back when I played WoW, I actually made a Blood Elf maze called Will Roleplay for Gold. And I actually had people who would offer to roleplay for gold, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I can use some gold. <laughs> really? Yes. You'd be so surprised what roleplaying can get you. Dude, do. roleplaying got me Overwatch. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> Got that. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I ain't gonna ask. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best you don't. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm 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 very good right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like I know I love where the fucking RP those thing moments. Go. Like I'm good. I love these moments where you're like, is he is he serious? Do I should I ask? Do I wanna ask? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love saying shit like that. Just cause it makes it confuses the fuck out of people. Like I forget who I was at a party with. Well but... no, because the thing is is I was just wondering if it was a real thing and I guess you confirmed it, but I, I mean, I was gonna ask like, what was the what, and then I was like, nah, you know what I don't want to know what it was about, never mind <laughs> like, I'm good <laughs> I am very much alright, dude, yeah. but it's just, I love those moments where you can say something and it'll just confuse the shit out of everyone instantly, and there was a time where I was at a party, and I was at a party with like I think nations, and then a bunch of his friends. So it's a bunch of people I've never met before. They don't know me. And then like 20 minutes in, someone sneeze. I say, bless you. Someone else said, bless you. And I was like, ha, we both said, bless you. Jinx, you owe me anal. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was just too funny not to do, because it's like, I know I'm going to make everyone in this room uncomfortable in three words. But I don't you owe me anal. Sense. Immediately everyone's gonna be like, what? Everybody <laughs> just gets, room gets quiet, everybody just turns like, what? <laughs> like you just hear minion sound effects and then there's like, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, great times. So what's, so what's one of the weirdest things you've ever done? Well, in the middle of a college, or, or was it, wait, was it during one of your Glasses? Was what? This encounter of fucking some guy apparently owing you anal because of. Oh no, I was in a PlayStation 4 party, dude. Oh. Oh. Like I said, I was chilling with Nations and a bunch of his friends. We were playing like Apex Legends and ah. some shit. Haha! <laughs> <sighs> Holy fuck do you do a lot of damage, dude. I do not appreciate that. I just just a fucking quest detective, but he fucking hit like a truck. Thankfully he's at 10% now, so he's now at zero. I was just about to ask if you needed me. I cannot hear you. You have moved away from the mic. So, yeah. Alright, so what were you saying? Because you moved away from the mic. Oh, I was gonna say, do you need me to come out there and throw up punch it for you? No, I just need my health to regenerate before I proc another fight.
Alright, come on, I'm getting tired of this waiting for healing. Ver cure. Done. I, honestly, one of the biggest things I'm uh, that I'm really looking forward to is the trust system. To be honest, I know you've mentioned it like seven times in the past hour. Like I'm just I'm so excited. Like I just really I was really looking at that system in Final Fantasy XI. And I was like that would be fucking awesome. Because of how often I can get people to fucking join me to do shit. Uh, now if I'm not mistaken, the trust system is just that you have AI controlled group, right? Yeah. But that essentially means it, I don't know exactly how it works in Eleven. That's the thing. Like I don't know if you can go into dungeons. Like I don't know about the like, especially like the, all, due to the differences between 11 and 14 like I'm just wondering how it will work and I'm hoping that it ends up working kind of like the command missions with your squadron I don't see why case, it wouldn't and they'll just follow you wherever the fuck you're going they already yeah, do that yeah and in, but um, I'd like to be able to go into dungeons as well with it so instead of taking this fucking nameless man A, B, and C from my squadron of what are you fucking about? They have misfits names. Yeah, but I don't care to remember them. What's your problem as a commander? Or you're actually, you know, if you're a humanitarian, you might be doing it specifically so you don't get too attached to them knowing that they're going to die. Or knowing that they may die, and as a result, you don't want to get too attached to them. As a commander, you have to take that risk. It's just more or less because they're retarded and they died like 50 times to the Cyclops fucking wailing on them before I finally figured it. I had minimized that fucking uh, command menu bar to make them do things. Could not find the fucking action to repop that bar for the holiest fuck. Like I, I just I couldn't. What are you so talking I can't about? To do it without it. It's only got three buttons on it. It doesn't matter. Those three buttons. Out of those three buttons, only two are important. Um, by the way. And uh. Yeah, they, they're they just that important. It is that important to have those three motherfucking buttons. Alright, you know what? Because it's those... past 11 o'clock, but I just unlocked Castor Mabala. Or whatever the fuck it's called. You did? Yeah. So, yeah, you're nay. Tell me. Go, I got time. I don't go, go in till 6. Go combat class. You're lead. Give me a moment to piss, actually. <sighs> bitch. No, nah, it's fine. I gotta do a fucking uh, ether current quest. No. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Are you? You're honestly, you're soon to be out of that area. So first thing I want to do with you, if you play tomorrow, is go and get your ether currents. So cool. whenever I get off, I may be off at twelve. It just depends on how much we get done before twelve. If I, they're gonna let us off early. But. Uh, whenever I do get on, the first thing I would like to do is definitely go and finish your Aether Currents for that area. Because you're going to unlock the Peaks next. And you'll probably be level 6, 70 after... Either right after this dungeon. You're going to... I can guarantee you, you will be level 70 before you hit the level 70 quests. With your Red Mage, you will be. Just hearing... Not if like, I start doing quests on my ninja. I'm my saying by the time you hit the level 70 quest... By the time you hit the level 70 quest line, you will be fine on your red mage. Again, not if I switch to my ninja. Start leveling And regardless, your ninja ain't gonna be able to do dick, considering I'm not buying another goddamn set of gear. If I'd have known you were leveling your ninja, I would have bought you your fucking ninja gear. I'm not paying another goddamn 1.4 mil for that fucking gear. What if I give you 1.4 mil? I can do that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can, I can get you the gear for 1.4 mil. No, I'll just get Red Mage to 70 and then start working on the Genesis gear. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's up to you. Because uh, once you hit level 70, you can get three knights. You can make that. 
that crafted gear that you've got is the best gear in the game right now if you over mailed it which basically requires either you be a crafter or you know a crafter which you apparently know one are you serious i have to yeah. fucking ride all the way back all right fuck my ass are you back yet can we queue this is gonna take a minute uh not quite i have not left yeah, I can't go back. And it's not going to take a, it's not going to take a second, it, or it's not going to take long at all. Like I'm, um, I'll be right back. Just give me like two minutes, tops. Your bitch. Anywho, what do we got in the comments? I know I have some new comments. Um, uh, not read that one. I'm gonna make something to eat real quick. All right, well, we'll be here. Well. Depending on how long it takes you to go get something to eat and eat, because after this dungeon, I am going to bed. Past 11, and I should, but I'm not too tired, so. Honestly, I need to start fucking, I don't know, sleeping minutes or something, because I need to fucking fuck out earlier. Wake up earlier. Right, how am I doing on Ether Current this area? Johnny Uh, oof, wow, I got quite a few to go. Um,. Got three quests, one of which I'm about to do. So we have one other quest, one story quest, and then seven fucking manual. Ouch. This is annoying. Okay, let me dismount, talk to this guy, say yes. Remount. I think what they could do to change that up is the same way they have the collision detection on the uh, boss, the enemy spawners, like the purple cloud you get, and as soon as you enter it, it'll spawn an enemy. Instead of that, it'll it should just trigger you going through the gate. The point, by the way, folks, in case you're wondering why they have that guy standing at the gate there, is because the zone is instant. So until you get to the part in the story where you're supposed to be here, that that guy isn't there, meaning you can't get here because they don't have another instance of this place except of it being fucking half destroyed so that's a case of once you it may load externally on the map as it being in one piece until you get to this part in the quest where it breaks um i kind of want to kill you but i really don't have the time see you but uh the problem there is, is is that you have to, by having that guy at the gate, he'll only spawn in if you have the Boolean flag for having done the story quest um, that Start it. he is associated with. Cool. Duty finder. Clear selection. Now, Johnny, what does that icon mean next to it? Like, it's got the yellow yin-yang square thing. I don't know what that means. And duty finder. Uh, oh, that means it's got an item level sync. It basically, if you're above a certain item level, it'll sync you to a certain level. I thought all dungeons did that. Uh, no, not all of them do. Specifically, the story ones definitely do it. Simply because they don't want people being like, oh, hey, I'm level 70 and I'm like 380. And we're in your level 70, fucking 290, I level dungeon. I'm just gonna shit on everything, alright? Alright. Johnny. Yeah, I know. Cool. I was going to say, this DPS goes. I'm really not going to care because we'll go back in the queue for all of a quarter of a second before it goes, oh, hey, we found another one. <laughs> yeah, DPS is. All right. Castro Mabanya. Ah. And not an L.
Alright, I'm here to fuck bitches. Let's put holes in things that don't want holes. Rapier away. Iron level has been synced to 290. It's... It's actually not even 290, so... Thank you. You've made me more powerful. <laughs> What is your all level? Uh, 283. Double check. Oh, I remember this one. 281. Johnny, you might want to check with the healer if that's a good idea or not. I'm not. I'm just pulling it out of that little corner so I can dodge stuff. Why do they have a gorilla bot? Deja vu like a motherfucker. I am not gonna hard cast thunder. Thank you. Damn it, Johnny. I like how each kill is like 34,000 XP. Like, I honestly, I can't wait to start leveling again and bring in my Chocobo too, like... Chocobo, I really do need to. Does the Chocobo max out at 30? Max is out at 20. So you can't max out all three skill trees? You can. It only has to get to 20. You gotta think, level 1 to 10 you get... One point for level one, two points for level two, up to at level ten you get ten points. Oh wow. Sorry, my chocobo's only a level four, so That's fine. Yeah, that's, rank four. That's that's decent, honestly, just because that's what you need for cure. Yeah. I would suggest starting to, anytime you're out in the world, summon your Chocobo. That's what I was doing earlier to today, it. was I was doing uh, Fates on my ninja. Yeah, always, anytime you're out in the world, honestly, just summon your Chocobo. If you pop two greens, it lasts for an hour. Like, I always get my Chocobo out, the greens are cheap. I did not know and that. that way, I thought that if you use it again, it'll just fucking... It's fairly, they added that, they, uh, they made it do that later on so I think they made it do that just with like the blue mage patch so you can do because that as many times as you want though right or it's an hour no, max. just it stacks to an hour so once it gets below a half hour you can do it again up it again by 30 and keep it going nice I didn't know that yes I'm back with fried chicken can't go wrong with fried chicken at 11 a or 11 p.m. Honestly, you can't go wrong with fried chicken at any fucking time. What day? What time is it? 3 a.m. and I'm hungover. Fried chicken? All right. I'll stop lazy drinking. You're going the wrong way, Wait, you know that, go? right?
Like, jeez, Johnny, how do I know where the fuck I'm going? I've never been here before. You have the map, still got it wrong. Also, don't know if you care, but uh, apparently, Monster, well, not apparently, Monster Hunter World is getting a massive expansion in September. Ha! <laughs> They're gonna be it, shut down by Borderlands too. Yeah, that's that's what I said to Wayne. It's like I'm fucking. I want to play it. Don't get me wrong. But Borderlands oh, three, September thirteenth. Man, I'm gone. He's like, well, maybe we can beat it all in a week. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm down for that challenge. So me and Wayne are gonna try to beat all of G rank in a week. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back into Monster Hunter <laughs> World. Oh God. Oh god. Well, I guess no Final Fantasy that week. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to if you wanna do that, motherfucker. Uh. I'll explain it. But I don't think this is the one I'm thinking of. Because the arena doesn't want to. Whoa, don't touch me. Since I'm here, I'll stab you a bunch. Oh, okay. Why? Oh, I guess the timer ran out on that. Alright, well that's exceedingly easy mechanic. Hit him with the cannon. Uh, he's driving over the over the cannon, so no. There's two cannons. Done. So will he do that until you hit him with the cannon? Yes. Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying. Uh... Oh, it's 10.15. Well, you live in a different time zone, that happens. Uh, you can't go wrong with hamburgers at any time of the day. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Burgers are always awesome. roleplay for hamburger. Ah, <laughs> uh, God, is that going to be a joke now? It's probably going to keep coming up in my head as a joke, so, yes. Uh, won't we all be busy playing Borderlands 3 instead of Monster Hunter? Talk about bad timing for an expansion. Well, again, they're trying to do the whole thing before Christmas so that it kind of stands out. I think by then it'll have popularity. All right, well, I can't target him while he does this, so... That's cool. Ah, they're kind of weak. But, yeah, no, uh, Boyish, as we were saying, it's, it's going to be a case of we have to plan for that and uh, try to do as much of Monster Hunter as we can before Borderlands 3 comes out, because once Borderlands 3 comes out... That's going to be another one of those, I drink five monsters in a single day to stay awake for a full 24 hours. Play nothing but throwing. But you have chores to do. Yeah, I'll take care of those tomorrow. Hold on. Man. You have work. Sorry, Amanda, I am dead. <laughs> Ooh, that's a... Oh, I rolled a 45 on the fucking... Like, oh, just cool. being able to go into a Borderlands with no meta builds. Yeah, and, I mean, it's fucking... The problem is, is it's the internet, so it's fucking... There's someone who's gonna, like, fucking do something crazy, try to hex edit a save file, and be like, oh, by the way... Oh. It's a hyper tune. I'm about to find out. He's gonna punch me in the face. 
thought you didn't have a job, Rich. Uh, actually, I do have a job now. I got a job back in February. I work at GameStop. Though I'm still technically in training. So I just kind of stand there and answer questions. If you ever come to Texas, you need to try Whataburger. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm never going to Texas. I like seasons. As I oh wait no, no Texas is middle. Well, I mean, if you like seasons, you need to come live in North Carolina. It's winter in the morning, spring in the new spring around noon, and then summer in the afternoon. That actually does sound lovely. Now, if only it were year round. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm like, until winter. <laughs> that actually does sound great. Because one thing I hate about summer is just the it's a hundred degrees out and it's not moving. I don't know enough. I don't know enough about geography to know what the temperature is going to be like in, in Texas, but I imagine significantly warmer and fucking just warm and dry as shit. Which is my fear, because I'm in New England, where it's constantly muggy as fuck. I have, on more than one occasion, woken up to Silent Hill. And by that I mean just fucking foggy as all hell. It's just like, oh hey Moisture, how are you doing? I don't need to see or anything. Nah. Come on, give me mage uh fuck I give me any mage gear. Alright, well I'm mad, so I'm gonna do this. Fuck you little rotor bitch. I'm tired of you. Sit down. Uh, you need to fix your PC so you can stream on it. I think you guys would really enjoy playing games like Magicka, Borderlands 2, and Pre-Sequel with the unofficial community patches make games way better. Um, I have played Magicka 2 on uh, PS4. She, Nick, and I did a full playthrough of it. That game is dumb as fuck, but great for shenanigans. Because we just kept killing each other constantly. I'm going to cast electric magic in water. Pff, all three dead. That's why I specifically equipped armor that made me immune to the electric conductivity in water. I was like, aha! I'm going to cast electric magic in water and not fucking instantly die. Which was great when fucking Sheik tried to murder us with it. And I was like, I'm not dead. He was like, how the fuck did you live? I was like, suck a dick. I planned for this. Although that boss fight. Oh my lord. The final boss fight. Magic 2. That shit was a nightmare. Johnny, question. Is it? Hmm. No, I don't mind. I think I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I was gonna say, when it comes to AoEs, it's not a good idea to use the melee combo. Really. When it comes to grouping, I just use fucking Molinae and do the AOE one. Just do that yeah. three times. Yeah. The enhanced Molinae is very good. Oh, it's actually quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that's what I try to use when we're fighting AOEs, which actually, uh, if I pop one more dark spell, I should have enough mana to use Manification. Oh, hello, new boss. You're fucking... What the fuck are you? Someone explain to me, like, where the fuck the Empire is making these crazy things. Like, this doesn't look like a robot. This looks like a human. What did this used what? to be? Okay, motherfucker pulling out that fucking bow. I feel like I'm fighting Aldrich again. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna stand on this one.
Ow. Uh, do I stand in this? Cat cup runneth over like the sea, so you want to be in water. Ow. I guess I wasn't in water. Lightning. I I lightning. Lightning. Oh, Rich, do you wanna... get in the lightning. The other one. Yep, that one back there. Now do it. You want to match the buff he's got. Like, if you look under his name, he's got the Oh, I see it now. And then he pops barrier shift. He's rocking ice. So we rock ice. No, you rock fire. He, cha he that was not Just, ice. Oh. That was a buff he had or a debuff. Yeah, whatever. Now it's fire. Fuck you and your gale cut. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna stab the shit out you with a rapier. Fuck. Ow! Alright, so he hasn't popped pair shift yet. Now he has. Now it's ice. Are you in fire? Do we match the element? I thought we would, like, counter the element. No, it's an element. Elemental matching. Oh, I was hard casting thunder. What a fun with me. Oh, whatever. Dead. Oh, you were. We're a lark. Oh, crap. I need to return that. Position. Large and weird looking. I don't know why I pass on stuff. God damn it, I gotta stop doing that. That's my fucking grand company, so I'm passing on. God damn me. I mean, it's better that I get it than you get it, because I'll actually fucking hold on to it and equip it. Fuck you, I need ventures. I pay what? for your gear, I need money. So go to Beast Drop Quest. It's not giving me much money. Ventures. Fuck you, I can only do three of those a day, I don't have enough ventures from the Oh, what, the, what, what, what? You can only do how many a day? Mr. Fuck it all, you can do twelve. Well. But they're not all guaranteed to give you fucking ventures. They are, if you know what you're doing. There are a lot of people here. Oh, Healy's dead. Is it? Uh, fine, I'll fucking rock Healy. Oop, as soon as I get out of that AoE. Swiftcast. Raise. Raise a bunch. Fuck, heal you a bunch. I'm gonna pop through some streaming real quick because I'm gonna need it. I'm working on my own heals right now, so. Mana not... shift the healer. Alright. I can go back on offensive. Cool. Hooray, being a red mage. Is that why you wanted to be a red mage, Johnny? Well, I was keeping myself up, but yes, the utility is very useful to be able to... Oh shit, the healer's down. And because I'm in the party with you, you've got time that I can keep myself up long enough for you to heal. Like, especially against big groups like that, I'm immortal. He got fucking riggedy wrecked. I have aggro from something. Right, you know what? Melee combo. Well, not melee combo. Mullen a bitch. Wow, that that rocks a solid five thousand on everything. Okay. I 
should be safe from that. How do you get the God of the Land title? I'm assuming max out all fucking gatherers. Yeah. I think God of Magic and God, yeah. I, I figured that was maxing out all of them. Set times. Well, that was an I interesting just little fucking scaffold. I, I got a little bit more. Oh, you're large. I got six levels on my Fisher, and then I'll have the God of the Land title. I already have the crafter of the realm. I have the level 60 and level 50 uh, titles. Do I AOE or focus on Colossus? Uh, up to you. I don't care. Kill it. All. Oh. Ow. Fuck you and your magic deck, Ray. I've read that ability wrong. I did. Fox. Yay, another earring. And it's not a 290, so I... Uh, hold on a minute, let me compare it. Yeah, no, it does less than what I need. Pass it. I'm sorry, did... did that I can actually use. What are you going to use My it for? Astro. No, the fuck you ain't. You're going to use the fucking etherite earring. Oh, you're right, actually. <laughs> Give me it, I want to turn it in. That's why I don't care. <laughs> I was like, ooh, it's close to the etherite earring, but not enough. Also, what the fuck is that thing? I feel like I'm fighting Bane mixed with the fucking Nemesis projects from Resident Evil. Nah. What a fortune to receive such a... Alright, I was going to say, so he's not even the one talking right now. We're just fighting Inferno. Whatever that means. I'm going to just give myself some buff. Etu and Rahu. What are those, the fucking names of the voices in the back of this man's head? Damn it, I keep forgetting to use Flare. I keep fucking forgetting. What are you doing, sir? Do a lot of positional attacks. I don't appreciate The strength of his left arm. He too grows. Oh, his arms have names. That's fucking here, let's not that's so I imagine if I get hit by a keep back up infinitely more damage. I don't know if it. I'll play on this side of hopefully only get hit with Rahu. <laughs> or he'll do this shit. I just swift cast the fucking control. That was a waste. Whatever. Oh, and now we're gonna buff Rahu. Uh, okay. Adds out of nowhere. Uh, can you fucking not, mate? 
Ooh, whoa, don't target me. Nah, I'm okay with Swift Cast. Don't net certain plant. Alright, so I like combo again. Oh, you are dead. Where where is our healer in all this? Okay, I'm gonna start going on the healing. Alright. Oh fucking healer just took blast to the face. Alright. Uh samurai should LB at any fucking time. But if he gets to ten percent, I'm gonna fucking LB. And there I go swift death and jolt again. Part of the rotation. Yeah, no. Good at mobility, bitch. Look at that casting the wrong question. Oh, when I need to. That's fine. Alright, well, I said I would. 10%. Oh, crap. I'll take the damage. You'll take more. Fuck you! Bring down the pain. Alright, well, I didn't kill him. Overwhelming. Oh, killed me, though. Well, that was... That, that was ironic. I'm gonna destroy I'm him. All of the nope. Yeah, that's right. Fucking fall over dead. Copy of Ethica. I don't know what the fuck that is. Damn it, man. I don't think a single thing dropped that I can actually equip. Did you hit 70? Are you close to 70? I am not going to take your race, sir. I don't want to be weakened. I'm just going to spawn right here. Um, am I 70? No. Close to 70? Mm, 2 million off. Not bad. That's like your next couple of fucking story quests. <laughs> or 50 to 60 roulette one time tomorrow. You could probably... Yeah. And then I can do the other roulettes on my ninja and get that to 70. If you and Sheik played Magic of right? 2 and enjoyed it, you will most definitely enjoy the first game. I wouldn't know, I don't know if enjoy was the right word. Um, Magic 2, was it Magic of 2 multiplayer only? They must have added single player. I, I don't know. We were just playing, like, online and just running around and murdering everything, including each other. Ah, I think that answers my question. Although there were some very clever puzzles in that game. Like, well. there was one where it's like we had to get... We couldn't... How do I play? explain this? Lisa's unit should be advancing there was a, a locked door a with a chest, and we couldn't get to the other side of the door because it was locked, of course. We had to go backwards through the level, find a ledge, one of us stood on the ledge, and then the other one used wind magic to push them across the fucking valley. It's like moments like that where like, oh shit, that was clever. And then the problem is, is the fucking game was like, oh yeah, by the way, you're going to use that wind push magic like all of twice in the whole game. Once, it's going to be at the very, very beginning of the game to solve that fucking puzzle. And then the second time, it's going to be at the very, very end of the game when you're in the middle of a fucking boss fight. But I do like the fact that it had like a bit of RPG Please? to it where you can change up the way your right. your magic works. And you. Wait, is that the 2D side scroller thing? No, it's isometric like uh, Diablo. Ah. And then, like I said, you each control. The thing is, is it's one of those things where all of the characters have to be on screen at all times. So you can't... 
roam around on your own accord. You all have to be, like, relatively close to each other. Dealing with her woman to ESPN. The skulls had surrendered. No one else had to die. And you killed them. Your own people. You're right. I killed them. Anstrid, Rudolf, Emlyn, all the rest. Trained and fought with every last one of them. Good soldiers and to honestly, a man. Honestly, Rich, if you wanted to, I gave the order that led to it'd their probably deaths. be better to do your start to win your roulettes on your level 70. But why? Why would you do that? Uh, Work of Genesis. They died, and Mendacity, so yes. The Mendacity is what you need free. to. The Genesis will get you 400 we gear, yes. But like I said, we if you want, that we, would do we can so over melt. We can start melding day, that gear that you've got, and it ends up better than any 400 gear that you can get. And if you haven't got the means to pay, then you pay with blood. Service and <coughs> citizenship. But citizenship <coughs> guarantees not. It's not enough to do your part, oh no. You have to run faster, fight harder, kill more and more and more, and only then will you be equal. That's just how it is out here in the provinces. You buy your freedom with blood. There is no other way. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You don't get to talk about freedom. You killed your own. They trusted you, and you killed them! Murderer! Butcher! Traitor! Oh man, she's got a Gios. I like her fucking one of her eyes just glowed. It's like, oh man, it's her Gios just activated. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the first thing that immediately came to mind. I gotta say, Lisa has some good fucking moves. Are you fighting up there with her? Uh, it's a cutscene. They're just fighting each other. You're about to take a fucking yeah. sword to the ass. Ooh. Alice took a sword to the rib. I can do. I've already seen it. Alize. Are against me. And again, this bitch with the smoke bombs. Took a fucking page out of Sheik's book. Hero! Lord Zenos invites you to join him for the royal hunt to be hosted at the palace. You may bring your horde, if you like. All are welcome. Magic is what Diablo would be if it was based around old wizards that speak gibberish and kill each other with their own crazy spells. Uh, Magicka is similar to Diablo in that it is the same camera angle. She'll be all right, and that's we'll about it. Will you help me? Thank you. Lise, I leave matters here in... Uh, right. Alright, folks. Well, I'm going to end it after this cutscene. So, thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe, and share. I do appreciate the support. Uh, if you'd like to donate or... Oh, hey, we're just out. I thought I'd have another cutscene. Huh. Minimal casualties. Oh, hey. Apparently one of the items I got from that dungeon I built to equip. Cool. And then jump over the ninja. Alright, well I look vastly different. That's just 
disable the headgear. What does this headgear look like by default now? Oh, doesn't fucking tell me. I have to dispel the glamour. Which costs the glamour to spell it. Mildly annoying. Either way. That's cheap as fuck, though. You can buy glamour dispellers from Mordona. I do like this chest piece, though. It looks pretty cool. So my ninja is 282, and my red mage is 281. Cool. Anyway, um the next area of the story shouldn't be too long Yup, and you're gonna pull a fucking Kingdom Hearts 3 and do a whole bunch of shit in like one mission. I think this is how we leave the area. That's the only reason I'm still pushing the story. I want to unlock the next okay, area. So I can use the... Okay, so it was worth leveling up the exalt. Because now I can buy potash, coke, and lime sulfur from here. Um, d d uh, drugs are bad, okay? Don't you be buying coke? Damn, I wish I would have leveled up the fucking Exal way back. I could have been buying fucking Peacock Ward from this motherfucker and selling it for like 50k a piece. And back then, 50k for fucking Peacock Ward was great. Uh, Magic 2 was on console. I'd imagine it having less depth than the original. The original had a shitload of spells. The way the spells work in Magic 2 on console is that when you hold R1... You have four elements. When you hold L1, you have four elements. Um, and then you can combine those four elements in any manner you like to achieve different magics. Hmm. Oh, wow. Those are some good pants. See, that's what I love about this. Literally, the, the quest I just got was come here and talk to him. Here's some fucking super good pants. Yep, there we go. And now we're going to go on to the next area. I wanted to show you this house. My house. Oh, shit. Also, Johnny, a game you might be interested in, because you like Stardew and the like. Um, I don't know. It's called Moonlighter. Not much to look at, is it? Oh. But uh, basically it is, you run a store and sell items at the store. But also, you go into the dungeon, it's a roguelike, so it's generated differently every time. Kill enemies, obtain items, get it out of the dungeon, and then sell it in your store. You can also, of course, save some of it and use that to upgrade and make your own gear. So you've got like sword and shield, you've got spear, great sword, bow and arrow. But, uh, it's a pretty cool little game. Swords and uniforms, oh. mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire. And there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. Is this Boromir? It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. Voice actor-wise, it sounds exactly like Boromir. I'm for the first time. But, after a lot of trial and error, I found ways to bring them down. 
After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. And then one day they hit us. Hard. I was whoop. Uh oh. We're getting an echo. Will you remain silent for fear of the Mad King's vengeance? Of his eyes I like and his ears armor. in the shadows and his knives in the dark? You who call this living dishonor our nation? So, Rich, are you interested in trying to do, like, X's and stuff? The extreme stuff? Yeah. Yes. Liberty. I'm very upset because we farmed, uh, whatever the bug Liberty dude's name is. Death. And I remember we did, we did him on extreme to try to get everyone the bird. Together we will tear the other from the and I remember we did it for, like, two and a half hours and I didn't get one. Oh. But we were Robin able to do no that problem. fight in like fucking three minutes. If you honestly, if you wanted to, if you want it, we can't do it in three minutes. But if you wanted to, <laughs> I'm trying to think. A Robin farm would go. It's fuck easy peasy, dude. If we had one, maybe like once we are able to get. Damn it! I was really hoping she could get Heaven's Word. With three Are people, as long as one of you was a healer, we could farm most early oh, primals with uh, just better me list. as a tank, one of you healing, healing well. one tank, one healer, so and one we'll DPS. We, could, we should be able to basically do anything and everything. What do you think those words mean? That everything that we can unsync. We... We must need to be willing to die for liberty. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And it is never truly finished. But if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up... Well, sir, I, I've never asked for much. Never wanted to live like a king. Just wish it were a little bit easier, is all. For me and everyone else. And I'm... I'm willing to die for that. If that's what it takes. Dying is easy, soldier. Living is harder. Rest, mend. Regain your strength. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lise, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. You like jazz? Liberty or death? Those were Curtis's words and his creed. So does this mean you're going to play Final will Fantasy tomorrow to try to creed finish up your base story? Nope. Liberty or death? That's all you. I want to play before I stream. Get my ninja to seventy. And you want to know if I like I said, do a roulette on my red mage. Get her to seven. Get that to seven. I don't mind that, but I'm gonna try to get both to seventy tomorrow I mean, before I stream. Once you're at, you're at now, seventy, I will fight until the end. Once we, liberty, once I get on, since you're not gonna be streaming it, so you're not gonna be doing story. We win must be if you wanted enemy. to, we could go farm Even fucking like birds. And the Ananta, though they may fear us. Because we'll I still we'll need to get Sephiroth, and, we'll and I need somebody to help me keep a lookout on the Compared certain that, mechanics. Taking our home will seem like the easy part. Mm. A good oath. So if you'd want to, I like I said, I've still got two birds to get. And that's Sephiroth and Sophia. With that gear that you're gonna have, you're gonna have a red mage that is ready to unsync. 
everything and then some. So, I mean, after that, we just go farm birds and shit. Like, I'll go with you to do Nidhogg and because uh, all those materials sell for pretty good. Like the Nidhogg scale is like one point something mil, and I can and I wanted to make the axe. So I can have it on my warrior. But if you get a scale, you could probably sell it and uh no, if I get a scale I'm gonna give it to you so you can craft something for me. <laughs> I can't craft shit. I was gonna get somebody else to craft it for me. Uh you know what? Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't... It's 11.57. I, I needed to stop an hour ago. I'm gonna stop doing quests. I need to I stop. Stop it dead on 12. Stop it dead on 12. No, it's three minutes. I'm not gonna get to do anything in three minutes. You can step next to a fucking quest. Shut up. Because I'm gonna be moving around anyway, fucking come tomorrow. So I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm not gonna load in for the stream and be right where I left off because I always do shit off stream. God damn it, least Fucking now we're playing tag. Alright, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to this little settlement here and I'm gonna end it. I need to. But thank you for joining me, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe, and share. I do appreciate the support. If you'd like to be, you know, if you're feeling extra generous, feel free to leave a donation. Tip jar link below on Twitch says to donate, click me. Or if you're on YouTube, it's just in the comments below. Uh, either way, donations to my PayPal. And uh, I do appreciate any support. Other than that. I'll probably level, I think I'll level Fisher to 70 tomorrow. Other than that, I just stream regularly and hope to see y'all in the next episode. Whether it be Borderlands, Final Fantasy, or whatever else I decide to play. But, uh, yeah. See you later, folks. I'm gonna be weird. Wait, wait, wait. If I can platform to the top of Kugane. There we go. I can make this little jump. Nope, wrong button. See you later, folks. Bye-bye. That is not what I thought it would be. Bye.